my pastel C brush. This is a brush that I made. I this is Photoshop, and uh, this is one of my custom brushes. And uh, so there he is. There's our first character, Mr. Mickey, the one that started it all, Mortimer Mouse. He's got over 700 people on TikTok right now. Right there. There we go. Well, happy 100th anniversary to Disney. Now, I was at Disney for 21 years, and it was some of the best for my professional life. Is probably some of the best 20 years of my professional life. I really, really did enjoy it. Well, let's go ahead and jump on to another one. Let's see. Who do we want to do now? Uh, let me go back. I'm going to just go down a list here. I've got a list of characters. Uh, we've got Mufasa. What about Mufasa? Now, you've drawn Mufasa before, right? If you Not were... really. I've drawn Simba, adult Simba, but you... I haven't truly drawn Mufasa. What shots that. of adult Simba did you... I know Nala was your character in The Lion King, but what shots of adult Simba did you animate? Do you remember? Um, there is some stuff in the fight where Simba and Scar are kind of going at it, and... Um, uh, it was where Simba says, you don't deserve to live. You animated that chat. <laughs> um... Matthew Broderick's voice. So you had to hear that again and again on a loop, I imagine, right? Yes. You don't deserve to get... How do you keep a consistent art style, asks Daisy. It, you know what? Th that evolves. That, that consistent art style is just something that evolves. And you just roll and, and let it evolve. You, it happens by doing a lot of art. And then another question off TikTok from Marcy. I'm going into animation school next year. Do you have any advice? Yeah, do, you know, get a lot of drawing done. Get in there and draw and animate and listen to your instructors and be ready to participate. And, you know, one of the biggest things about animation is being able to work with other people. It's very much a team uh endeavor so be be a team player that includes in school uh twitch question i have a question about mickey i had to once draw him for work a while ago and i tried to look up if his ears are perfect circles or not and i found conflicting information some say oval some say circle which is it supposed to be well he's kind of evolved over the years so mickey has different looks when you look back at the old Mickey, when he was first designed, Mickey was a quarter, his head was a quarter, and his ears were two dimes. So yes, those are circles. But over the years, he's evolved. And uh, if you saw, if you look at what I just did, you can see that I've kind of made them ovals. And there's lots of images out there where Mickey has oval ears. But you also said that no matter what way he's turning, his ears are always... Yeah, his, always see his ears flat. you never see his ears from the side. You yep. always see his ears flat. Yep. Yeah. Um, Sylvester says, this might be a tough question, but what do you think Walt Disney would think the company of the company as it is today? Any thoughts? You know, I, it's hard to... I don't want to put my opinion into what Walt may have thought. Um, I think, you know, Walt was always looking to break new ground. Um, bring in technology, go where no other artist has gone before kind of thing. And from that standpoint, I think Disney is doing that all the time. And uh, and I think he would be proud of where the company is. Uh, if we're talking about other creative endeavors, maybe, you know, he might have a different opinion, but um, it's it's not up to me to, to speculate something like that. Yeah, no, I get it. Um, uh, YouTube comment, I bought a bunch of your courses this week. And I'm in love with your brushes too. Great stuff. I gotta say though, the main thing in my head from them and all the lessons is how many times you say, like so. <laughs> it's Just true. Like Just so. like so. Yeah. That's like Bob Ross saying happy little tree. Yes. Aaron says like so a lot. One uh, and one more thing. Oh, one more thing. Yes. So here we are. So here's a little Mufasa. Let me get rid of that. Let me clear out that chin. Love Jones wants to know, are you working on a production currently? Yes. So I'm working on a production called Snow Bear. And it is, oh, I just dropped my mic. Sorry. Hold on, guys. It is an animated short, 10 minutes long. And uh, we're hoping to have that in done in the next several months. But yes, it's called Snow Bear. Well, here's one that I got to blow this up. 
You gonna do one of your characters? Someone's saying. Yeah, let's do that. I'll do one of my characters since we're on the Lion King. Um, Hades, but I've already gotten a lot of um people want to see different characters. We'll just. So for people who don't know, who might be joining this stream for the first time, Aaron was with Disney for 21 years as an animator and character designer. So, and director. And yeah. director. And he directed Brother Bear. And uh, right now he's drawing one of his characters that he designed and animated in The Lion King. Let's see if people can guess who it is. Someone said Sonic. That's not good. <laughs> wrong, not good. wrong, wrong franchise. We're doing Disney characters. <laughs> hey, today is the 100th birthday of the Walt Disney Company. October 16th, 1923. Someone said Simba, Simba. Oh, one person said Nala. Oh. Nala, you got it. Nala. So Aaron designed and animated young Nala in the original Lion King movie. That's his character. So he went through the design process and... Uh, animated her in the film, and uh, you also did a bunch of Simba as well. But, but yeah. Nala, Nala was your character. She was. We yeah. got twelve hundred people on TikTok right now. All right, you guys. Over ten thousand likes, so thank you for that. Thanks, you guys. Yeah, whatever platform you're on, do us a favor: hit that like button, or share button, or subscribe slash follow button. Help us spread the word. Helps. Us and out a lot. since we're doing character or characters today, I want to let you know. And I'm a character. I was a character designer for Disney. Um, an animator. I want you to know I've, you know, I put together uh, a 16 hour, 23 video course on character design. And uh, that you can get at creatureartteacher.com for $1 right now. Yep. Creatureartteacher.com slash learn. And that sale's not going to last much longer. So if you want to get Aaron's huge character design course, take advantage of that now. King of Cartoons wants to know, did you watch Once Upon a Studio? We just watched it, and boy, did I love it. We just watched it today twice. Since we just did Nala, let's see if we can get a Simba in here. Somebody should keep count of how many characters we're at. Yeah, I, I, well, yeah. this is number four you right usually now. usually minimize them and put them on the side or something. You can always just... Well, is each one going to be a layer? Yeah, each one is a layer. We'll count the layers. <laughs> yep, exactly. That's what I'm doing right now. Just don't draw anything on the well or layer and don't group anything. Yeah, exactly. So what's the goal for today for those that have just hopped on? We're just drawing, you know, it's the 100th anniversary of the Walt Disney Company today. And we thought, you know what? It'd be fun to get in here and just see how close to 100 characters we can draw. I don't know if I can draw 100 characters in the time that we've been given, but doggone it, I'm going to try. Are you using Procreate? No, this is... Uh, Photoshop that I'm using right now. And Odin from TikTok wants to know, um, where can I buy your brushes? You can go to creatureartteacher.com and we've got them there. And actually, once again, you've got my my uh, character design course. If you go to creature uh, creature <laughs> creatureartteacher.com, I'm just I'm I'm fumbling over my words today. There we go. Thanks, 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 Mama. Head, head, no. <laughs> hat. Um, and a lot of people are requesting stitch, just to let you know. But feel free to draw whatever you like, Aaron. Oh yeah, well we're gonna we'll get... get to stitch, I'm sure. I'd like to see you do a take on like a uh, Wally. Oh, oh, that's a cool idea. And he is doing Disney characters today. Yep. Technically, Wally's Pixar, but Pixar counts. It does. Oh, they own it now, don't they? Oh, and please, anything Tarzan. Anything Tarzan. Well, we'll get to Tarzan, too, I'm sure. There's a little Simba. <laughs> People are so random. Gumby, Sonic. <laughs> the we're doing Disney. <laughs> well, you know, some people might actually not know what's Disney and what's oh, okay. not. Because, you know, sometimes you just think animation is Disney, you know? Yeah. A lot of people do. All right, there's our Simba. What do we want to do next? Let's Mariana see. on Facebook says, wow, Disney's 100 years old. Considering you got to meet Walt, you look a lot younger than I... <laughs> <laughs> and then they say, just kidding, keeping tradition alive. All right, let's see if you can guess this one. 
Character number one, Vermice, you missed it. We did Mickey. Yeah, which I'm sure you go over all the click through them at the end. Oh, yeah. Facebook question. Who animated Coda and Brother Bear? That would be Alex Cooperschmidt, the same guy that animated Stitch. And most likely animated in the new 100 Once Upon a Studio. Yes. Sure, since he's... Oh, he definitely... One of the only 2D... He definitely worked on it. He's... For sure, he was working on it when we were out there last time. But I, I'm assuming he did the shots of Stitch, I would imagine. Everyone's yeah. saying Pluto? Is it Pluto? It is Pluto! Bing, 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 bing. When I want a chicken dinner. Now, have you drawn Pluto before? I've never drawn Pluto. Lots of requests for Mushu. Mushu. All right. Well, I'll have to get... I, gotta put... so I, I can't do these out of my head, so I do have to pull up reference. So let's. Uh, let me see if I can get this and then... I don't know how well this is going to come out. Oh, he looks great. And Pluto doesn't talk, right? No. As opposed to Goofy. Is Goofy a cow? Goofy's a dog. Goofy's a dog. Yeah. Isn't there some dispute about what he is? <laughs> well, there was in Stand By Me. <laughs> well, there's some dispute about the fact that he wears pants and talks and Pluto, and Pluto doesn't. doesn't. Yeah. yeah. So then they're like, is he? Yeah. And it's funny because they, they exist in the same universe, but... One's a pet, the other one's a living, oh, Miko. talking. You want Miko and Moana. I don't know that you've done the 3D. Are you doing just 2D characters or are you going to try to go for the 3D ones too? I'll do 3D as well. We'll see. And just draw them flat. Draw see right what happens. Their fancy. Or his fancy, I guess. Yeah. They just won't be finished 3D. They'll be sketches, right? Yes. These no, are all sketches. No, it's going to be a long stream. We're going to watch Aaron learn Maya today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be all and now I'm s sewing UV scenes. <laughs> there we go. There's a little. For me, says it's simple. Pluto. Goofy's a person dog and Pluto's a dog dog. That's right. I don't understand what the confusion is. <laughs> Hello. There he is. That's a little, it's a little awkward Pluto, but that's Pluto. I think it's the chin. There's it is. Chin. He does have a big chin. Yeah. He has a big jaw. But I think I got too thick on his neck. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. That's there it, you there. go. There. Yep, yep, yep. So there's uh, that's number five. Let's see what else do we want to get. What, what would you say? Oh, let's do Stitch. Let's see if we can do Stitch. Oh, that's a cutie. I think you drew him on paper the other day, didn't you? I did. So I have drawn Stitch before. Sometimes. This is my second time drawing Stitch. Matter of fact, I just watched a uh, video today of Alex Cooperschmidt showing how to draw Stitch. Oh, that's good. Convenient. Alex Cooper Schmidt, for those of you who don't know, is the supervising animator of Stitch. He's a good friend of yours. What did he? Uh, and we said he did Coda in. Um, he did Coda in Brother Bear. He did uh, Khan the horse. Khan and Mulan. Mulan, and he did the uh, the hyenas. In Lion King. In the Lion King, he was one of the animators of Gaston in mm -hmm. Beauty and the Beast. Chloe wants to know what the website for your art course is again. CreatureArtTeacher.com We have over 700 hours of art and animation lessons there now. I gotta adjust the shape of his head here. Some Instagram questions have been... Collecting the old Instagram tabs. Let me see. So, Stitch, unlike the other characters, he is just black eyes. What is your main advice for starting out in animation? Someone just starting out. Well, the, the best thing you can do is to draw and uh, a lot. And then you animate uh, as much as you can. When you're animating... Uh, Obviously, you want to learn all the fundamentals and everything, but really focus on acting and characters thinking. You want to you want to animate what a character is thinking. Don't worry about mechanics and those types of things right off the bat because those will come around in time. It's really getting into the soul of a character. The you know the act of the art of character animation is bringing characters to life. It's not how well you move things around, and so the more you can do that. The better you'll get at it and and you know the characters will have a life of their own 
What was your favorite scene you've ever worked on? My favorite scene I've ever worked on was probably a Beauty and the Beast scene where he's getting bandaged by Belle. And it's the bandaging scene in front of the fireplace. And she bandages him and, he's a, and he yells, oh, that hurt. And they go back and forth and argue. And it was a really fun little bit to do. What um, pen display are you using? This is a Wacom 32 Pro. Um, I don't know that they make these anymore. Um, but they do make a 27. Yeah, they make a... It's, it's a 32, yeah. This is a 32. But I believe... But, uh, the, but the image area is about the same. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. And where can um, where can they purchase your digital brushes? Preacherartteacher.com. Go there, and I've got hundreds of brushes that I've created over the years. And uh, most of them are like a dollar a pack, right? Yeah. Well, they're they're on sale. They're three, four, five bucks a pack. Okay, there you go. Gotcha. Yeah. But our one dollar character design course sale is still happening. You can still get uh, Aaron's sixteen hour course over twenty videos for just a buck right now, and that ends soon. And also, uh, Friday was Friday the thirteenth, so we started running this Lucky Thirteen sale over the weekend, and that's extended through tonight. So if you go to creatureartteacher.com and use promo code Lucky Thirteen, you can get an additional thirteen percent off your entire order. All right, so there's six. There's there's Stitch. Nice. All right. So who are we going to do next? Let's do a hard one. I'm going to do... I tried this one earlier. I don't know if I can do her, but I'm going to try. I'm just going to try a little Snow White. Ooh. Snow White is so hard to draw. I've never really drawn her. And I'm just going to just give it a shot. And for those on TikTok looking for the site, there's a link um, right in the bio. It'll take you to all the sales. Let's see if I can guess what this is. I have no idea. You must have been reading comments because you just said. Yeah, I don't. Oh, yeah, I was. <laughs> I was getting my head in the comments. I do the same thing. Sorry. Oh, I thought they were, he was making people guess. Oh, okay. Snow White. <laughs> Tough being a mod. Yeah, I know, right? Mod getting <laughs> no respect. No respect. I get no respect. And like the Rodney Dangerfield of live streaming. Abby says, I want to learn this. Well, the best thing you can do is sit down and start drawing. Uh, Twitch comment. Did you know that Snow White uh, won Walt Disney a special Oscar? Yes, I did. It was also the first color film. Uh, First color feature, yeah. Yep. Do you have any courses for kids, like that a, a little kid could yes jump into? Yes, we have or quite a draw. few actually. From Tim Hodge, from uh, uh, Ronnie Williford. Um, we've had you know uh, Tim Hodge has how to draw cartoon, all people, kinds of things. How to draw cartoon people, how to draw cartoon yeah. animals. Um, yeah, we've got a bunch of stuff on there. If you go to our website and look for courses by Tim Hodge. Slay. Oh, do you know any from Aristocrats? What are some good ones from them? What? Oops. What were some of the characters? And are you left-handed, everybody on TikTok? Yes, I am. I am really left-handed. This is not in reverse. And what's unusual about that to me is not that you're left-handed but that your brother your father and your mother are all left my whole family is left-handed yes not but not my kids no so i'm assuming karen was not no karen was not left-handed and uh my kids are not left-handed that's a little better this is boy she's a tough one to draw she's a tough cookie because she's so simple yeah, there's, there's so something about lines. her that's just really difficult. I think, hard, I think it's hard to get the shape of the face right. Yeah, there's there's a lot of very simple little things that's going not on. Not bad here. though for no, having never bad. drawn her. I mean, you're yeah, it's like a face to hair ratio is weird. Not on you, but I'm saying. Yeah, no, I agree. Character. Yeah. Whoops. Well, these are a lot of Disney characters Aaron has never attempted to draw before. Yeah, I've never. 
So. And uh, not in 21 years that I was there. Oh, someone said, please draw Bambi. Oh, Bambi's a good one. And then once upon the studio, a uh, studio at the end, they had all the characters out for the photo. Yeah, it was really it was great. Cool. Yeah. And you said, Aaron, that's actually, you guys used to, Aaron used to work. If you guys go watch Once Upon a Studio, which came out on Disney Plus today for the 100th anniversary. Yeah. There are all the characters at the end. Well, I don't want to spoil That's it. the building that I used to work in. Yeah, it's the building that Aaron used to work in. And if you've seen it, uh, there's a picture moment and... That's what you said you guys actually did as animators, right? All the yeah, we, whenever we do our crew photos, that's where we would stand, just like that. And someone would get up on a big ladder, just on like... In front of the hat building, right? Yeah. Let's see if someone can guess this one. What app are you drawing in? This is t uh, Photoshop. Uh, Instagram question. If you had to choose between digital or traditional, which would you pick if you had to choose? Oh, I'd say traditional probably because I like having something in my hand afterwards. But I love drawing uh, digitally as well. Oh, people are trying to guess. See if you can guess. People say Casper. <laughs> wrong. Wrong. Cheetah from Atlantis. Ariel. Tiana. Peter Pan? There you go. Oh, bing, it. bing, 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 bing. It's the eyebrows. It is. At first with the eyebrows, I was like, the Grinch? But wait, no, that's not. <laughs> that's not. Yeah, Peter Pan's a little bit hairier than people realize. Kind of this hairy character. He's definitely got the elf kind of nymph eyes. What's your favorite medium? I love uh, pencil and watercolor. Uh, oil. All of those are mediums that I just love. Yeah, is, is Night Baby for Christmas Disney? Yes. It is. Oh. Yeah. How did you get into working for Disney, asked Sarah on TikTok. I, I, um, I submitted a portfolio back in 1988. Uh, they were looking for interns to train and I thought, you know, what? that might be a really interesting job opportunity. I was in college at the time. And so I submitted my portfolio and I got in, I got accepted and I went to Los Angeles where I trained under an, uh, animator Glenn Keane, well, the great Glenn Keane. And, uh, he taught me how to animate. And after six weeks in this internship, uh, I got a job. I got hired and uh, it was really kind of this whirlwind unexpected experience that I had and uh, but it worked out great and um, that was 35 years ago. There we go. We're coming in. Pita. Pita Pan. That was my. That was my. Uh, that was your impression. That was my um, hook impression. It was bad. We've got a couple requests. Her. I can do Dustin Hoffman's Peter Pan a little. <laughs> I hate. I hate. I hate Pita nice. Pan. <laughs> Wasn't bad. Yeah. Well, Dustin's not here, so somebody's got to do these. Somebody's, somebody's got to do, do it. Voices. So there's Ooh, our oh. Peter Pan. That's not a bad Peter Pan. I like this one okay. At least it doesn't feel not not like him. Someone asked Pocahontas, but I know she's very difficult to draw. Oh, she's so a hard one. She's, and I animated her. You gotta do I it. was one of the animators yeah. of Pocahontas. Aaron animated so Pocahontas. The lines have to be perfect. Uh, let's see. I got to pull her up on the list. Let's see who we have. Let, let me come back to my list here. Someone said Merlin? Is Merlin in Fantasia, right? Or no? No, Merlin's in Sword and Stone. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's Stitch. That's one of that's one of River's favorite movies. Is my son. In Company Disney? Yes, it is. Oh, wow. Yeah. I love that movie. I love it. 
let's see. Okay. Well, I want to. I'm now that we're we're here. I want to try some traditional characters, more traditional characters. Let me see if you can remember this guy. Everyone will get this guy. All I have to do is draw a silhouette, and you'll get him right away. Nemo. <laughs> And you already did three from Lion King, right? Mufasa, Nala, and... Oh, no, you didn't do Young Simba, did you? Yeah, you did. Yep. Oh, yep. you did, okay. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So you were attempting to draw 100 characters or as many as you can? I'm, we're just drawing as many as I can. Who knows? I'm on number nine right now, so... Someone said Donald Duck. Of course. There you go. Good call. Donald's a fun one. He's such a grump. You're averaging three <laughs> minutes per character. Three oh, that's minutes. Not... Slow. Do better, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did Mickey Mouse. He did Mickey Mouse the first character. Yeah, right, uh, right here. Where is he? There's Mickey. Put a I bow on guy. it, and then it's Minnie. And then it's Minnie. <laughs> yeah. And we did Mufasa. Then we did Nala. Then we did Simba, then we got Pluto, then we did Stitch, and Snow White, Luther. and then there's Peter Pan, and now... I didn't think Snow White was bad. No, she's sweet. She's a sweet little... Can you draw Tug from Brother Bear? Oh, you know what? I should be able to draw Tug, but I don't know that I can. I've never drawn him. You can always draw Coda. Here. Good, actually. That's a good idea. I had a friend in high school, this is an Instagram question, whose brothers were named Sitka and Kenai. I don't know if it was supposed to be from Brother Bear or or what, but it was an interesting coincidence, if not. It had to have been. It had to have been. Yeah. Somebody Sitka. named their kids after the movie. There's no yeah. way. Yeah. And then they named the dog Coda, right? <laughs> yeah. I hear a lot of people that have their dog named Coda. What's your favorite Disney film? Bambi. And what's your favorite film ever? It's not Bambi. This is a weird looking Donald. It looks like a kind of a Warner Brothers Donald. Oh, well, I do love Daffy. Actually, if you've <laughs> seen the new style of Donald, that's not that far off. Oh, yeah? There's a, um, the way they do the Mickey cartoons now, yeah. they've got this kind of... Uh, and at some point, you're going to do Roger. I love Roger. 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 All right, we'll go off of Donald at this point because I there's no real saving him at this point. That's that's my attempt at Donald. That's a bad one, but <laughs> you at least know who he is. Oh, let me do. Uh, let me just put a little value in his hat here. A lot for Lightning McQueen and Nemo. Yeah, I'm getting Lightning McQueen quite a bit too. Oh, yeah. You love that car. Maleficent. Someone wants Maleficent. Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. Oh, the original Cruella is so cool. Oh, I'm going up one. I have to pull them up. I'm going to have to pull oh, them yeah. up. We're getting... Oh, no, at this point, I'm just telling you what, what people are saying, but he's just going to pick them as he goes and try to get as many as he can. Draw, monkey. Draw. <laughs> Draw. 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 Um, and actually, on TikTok wants to know, can we rewatch this once the live is done? Will you maybe make a little I can make a video? I'll make some videos, sure. Cut together. Oh, we should have been recording. Oh, screen recording? Arrgh. Start it now. Start it now? Because you can always show it later. Yeah. Just show the layers later. Oh, where am I? Screen flow. Hold on. Let me. Uh, I went to your face. Right here. Configure Hi, recording. All right. Just the Cintiq, right? Yeah. We don't need to do audio. Book in your head. I'm going to record the audio. There we go. You're a giant. <laughs> okay. Thanks for that suggestion on TikTok because they will cut together a video. Yes. And post it after. I'm 
all his social media platforms. You, man, you've got a lot going today. You got YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, yeah, Twitch, we got Twitch, Twitter, and X. X. I know. One day I'll stop laughing whenever I hear that, but not today. <laughs> the letter. How many skulls is that behind you on the shelf? Are those a lot? Reference? I've got I've got tons of skulls. I teach animal anatomy and drawing, and so I have a lot of animal skulls that I have for reference. Yes. And uh, Mr. Tortoise asks, "Hey, Hello, Aaron. Mr. Tortoise. Hey, Aaron. I love your art. Any advice for someone going to an event like Lightbox Expo for the first time? You know, really soak it up. We're going to be there, by the way. So hopefully, we'll get to meet you. But um, you know, it's a lot to take in." So sign up early for any of the lectures that you might want to see and because uh, they fill up fast and uh, and just get in there and soak it all up. Enjoy it. And so, where, where will you be um, speaking or, or doing demos? We're going to be uh, with the Procreate on booth. Sa on Saturday, we're going to be in the main Procreate Cinema Hall, I believe it's called, doing a big presentation with Procreate Dreams. And then on Sunday... We're going to be over with our friends at TV Paint at a, from 11 to noon, I believe. Yeah, um, something like that. Uh, doing demonstrations. I'm sorry, we're going to be doing Procreate Dreams with Procreate. We're going to be with our friends at TV Paint doing some demonstrations on Snow Bear. And then right after we finish with TV Paint, we're going over to our friend Proko's booth. And you're going to do some, I think, more dream stuff over there. Yes. Plan. And... Uh, a bad goofy but it's it's oh, it's close got it. oh, 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 oh. somebody wants nemo real bad real real bad <laughs> i gotta get, let me see who I, who I got else in here we got so many disney characters to draw oh you know what i haven't done this guy in a while let me let me do him i know what that'd be cool for you to draw but i don't like you throwing it out there but somebody suggested on youtube robin hood oh, oh yeah. the fox robin hood yeah no kevin costner <laughs> <laughs> um... actually that'd be a kind of a cool illustration all of the robin hoods you could have robin hood you could have kevin costner errol flynn the fox yeah men in tights yeah men in tights <laughs> yep oh someone um, Magic Field says, on TikTok oh. says Beast. Yes. Yep, Beast. That triangle gives it away. You don't start with a circle. Yeah, whatever platform you're on, everybody, hit that like button, hit that share button, help us spread the word. We're going to be, today is the 100th birthday of the Walt Disney Company, so Aaron Blaze, who was an animator with Disney and director for 21 years, is sitting here drawing Disney characters. We're going to see if we can hit 100 characters. Maybe we're up to eleven. We're over a tenth. And we're cl we're closing in. Who knows? We might speed up. And Anastasia, that was what company? That was Bluth. John Bluth, yeah. Stephanie from TikTok says, I can draw Disney characters too. I want a Disney job. <laughs> well, get in there. It's forbidden. Who's, who's Violet? Am I, which, is there Violet in a... Violet? In a Disney movie? I don't know. Well, we have a character named Violet. Yeah, we do have a character named Violet. I just didn't know... Maybe, maybe they're maybe talking they about... Maybe they don't know if, we've, if that we're doing Disney characters today. Oh, Violet is the... The sister and in oh, that's Incredibles. right. From, in the Incredibles, yeah. no, from uh, oh, is it the Incredibles? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, that's the um, one that can turn invisible. That's DreamWorks or is that Pixar? That's Pixar. Oh, Pixar. okay, that, that counts. Yeah. Well, there you go. Oh, she's the one that turns. Yeah. Are you guys all related? Yes, we are actually. Yeah, as of now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, Nick is uh, Vedanta is my wife. Nick is my brother-in-law, business I'm, partner and brother Because I'm married to Vedanta's sister. Yes. And we're also business partners. What 
tablet are you using? I am using a Wacom Cintiq 32 Pro. And this has to be hooked up to a computer. So it does. It's not independent. It's a really great pen display. Oh, it's a good one. Oh. Hi, Taro. Got one here. Oh, come on. Did you lose her? I did. There we go. See if I can pull this one off. What brush are you using right now? This is my brush. This is a um, one that I created. It's called a Pastel C brush, and you can get it in my brush collection at CreatureArtTeacher.com on my original uh, custom brush set. Or you can get it for free if you sign up on our newsletter at CreatureArtTeacher.com. And is that in the link tree for the free brushes? It is, yes. Oh, okay. So on TikTok, too, it's, it's right in the link tree. You can get both those, I mean, two different digital brushes, right? Yeah, actually, you get several now. Oh, okay. And you get a PDF on how to draw elephants. Lady, everyone's guessing. Oh, really? Already? Yeah, wow. Lady, I think it's because of the long ear. Well, that was good. Oh, well, she's so sweet. I wasn't expecting she's a lady. them to figure it out that quick. Yeah, they said the ear. Todd and Copper from Fox and the Ham. Yeah, see, that, I was a kid when that movie came out. I loved that movie. Ray the Firefly. Oh, my God, I love him. From um, Tia. That's from um, The Princess and the Frog, right? Yeah. Your breath about cute me to death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Winnie the Pooh. You actually did Winnie the other day on paper. I did, yeah. So cute. And then Dogs from the 101 Dalmatians. All right. TikTok song. We've got almost 60,000 likes and over 700 people still on with you. All right. Well, if you're on TikTok, please share. And we've got over 500 watching on YouTube. Oh, wow. Yep. Let people know we're here. Come on over and join us. Let's have some fun. Turn it into a big party. Who's the Horned King? The Horned King is from uh, the Black Cauldron. Oh, the bad guy, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was wondering what the name of that character was. That's I think it. I've only seen that movie once. Yeah, that's all you need to see it. <laughs> Getting a little bushy with her ears, but hey. Dustin says, "Hey Nick, tell Dad I said hi." <laughs> oh, is Dustin watching? Yeah. On on Twitch. YouTube actually. Oh, YouTube! Wow. Iron Giant. Yeah, but that's not Disney. Um, no, that's Warner that's, Brothers. That's such a cool movie. Yes, it is a Wacom tablet. Yes. It's a Wacom Cintiq Pro 32 in conjunction with his uh, Mac Pro, right? Yes. Are you excited about the new Dreams app that's coming out from Procreate? Well, believe it or not, I actually have had the, the opportunity to use it already. And so we're actually going to be creating a course on how to use it. I've got a, a, an animated short that I created called Dream. About a little penguin that wants to fly. Exactly. And if you watched the keynote presentation or the announcement, they, they screened your animation as the sort of the... The climax of the presentation. So. so we're very excited about it. Twitch question. Can you draw Lightning McQueen? All right. Let me see if I can pull him up. I think that's been the, the number one request <laughs> I've seen so yeah. far. Yeah. Do you time. have brushes for Procreate? Yes. So all of Aaron's brushes on our website, they're listed as Photoshop brushes, but they also all work in Procreate. So they were designed for Photoshop, but uh, as of Procreate 5, it supports Photoshop brushes, so you can import all the brushes into Procreate, and they work great. Oh, and Picasso on TikTok, he already did Stitch, and he'll go over, I think, the drawings. How many have you done now? You've done... I have done... I have done... I have done... Uh, we're on the number 13. Number 13. Michael on Facebook says, come on, Aaron, Black Cauldron is underrated. It's really not that bad for the new crew, or for a new crew. 
Sorry, Mal, I disagree. It wasn't a new crew. Right? That's <laughs> it the thing. Was, they just didn't have a budget. Yeah. Yeah, very little. But I understand how certain movies are just a like the Brave Little Toaster may not be the best animation wise, but it's it holds like a such a Oh, but a lot of people love heart. that, yeah. What, yeah, same thing with the Black Falcon, I think, for people. It holds a memory for their childhood. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's the one that almost put animation out of business. Oh, animation so. out of business, okay. Because yeah, it that, blocked really bad? Or... Yeah, it was just badly done. I know, I know, I'm... I'm... But, yeah. I've never drawn McQueen before. This is fun. And he will probably draw... Someone from Princess and the Frogs um, at some point. You just gotta hang in here with us. Yep. Yeah. Now oh, this is a this is a cool one. Draw Jose and Panchito from the Three Caballeros. Oh, that's a good one. Someone says, "Yay, McQueen!" Yeah, and I'm trying to stop all the spammers on TikTok, guys. Sorry, but everyone's just excited. Mm. Got so and quite a few for Nemo and for Tinkerbell today too. <laughs> Melody says, "Do the trick or treaters from Nightmare Before Christmas." Rock, oh. shock, oh, and barrel. Cool. I didn't realize that. I think it was Shock, the 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 main the main one who has most of the lines, other than the girl, is uh, Pee Wee Herman. Yeah, does the voice. Yeah, and then Danny Elfman, the the writer of all the music, is the other one. Yes. Yep. Yeah, and he's also Jack, I think, the singing yep. voice. Jack. Oh, Woody, please. But you know who the acting voice of Jack is? Uh-uh. The evil prince from Princess Bride. The one that... Oh, okay. I, yeah, no, he was also in Fright Night. From yeah, exactly. Night. Yep. In the 80s. Men and wife. Say man and wife. Man and wife. <laughs> Humperdinck, yeah. I couldn't remember the character. Okay. What a great movie. Marcello says, the technique and the confidence in your strokes is impressive. My mouth is wide open. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I mean, these are characters that you've definitely never drawn Lightning McQueen before. No, but he's uh, and later he's got good shapes though. So you, yeah. Once you get into it, you can tell where you you can just kind of feel where you're supposed to go with it. Did you see the thing about um um, the Larry the Cable Guy talking about becoming? Oh, Larry? I know. He got so emotional. He was, like, crying because it was it changed his life. His life. Yeah. yeah, I love that. I mean, working with Disney is life changing. I yeah, think. and he really is that kind of guy. I I had the I had the the luck of. Being able to sit with him while he, we were actually doing an announcement for Disney. We were up in New York talking to the world press and we, um, and he was there to announce uh, um, Cars 2 or I think it was, or maybe it was Cars 3, I can't remember. But um, he, uh, we were in the green room together and he uh, was just such a nice guy. And uh, we just hung out and talked for a couple of hours. What do you think about the new movie Wish? It's both 2D and 3D. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I've seen trailers for it, but I don't really know anything about it other than that. And the new character I'd never seen before was in the Once Upon a Studio. Yes, like, yes, she was. I was like, who is that? Oh, Flower from Bambi. Is Flower the bunny? Flower's the skunk. Oh, the skunk. Oh, that's right. You can call me Flower if you want to. <laughs> There we go. I gotta give him some blue eyes. I don't know why I'm getting into color, but well, because yeah, he's Lightning McQueen. He's got to be red. That's a good two D version. Where's his lightning bolt? It's uh, on the side. That oh, you can't it, really it. see it. Got it. I wasn't sure. I just couldn't remember. Yeah, Aaron cheats. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody loves Lightning McQueen. He's super. Ciao. Is that what he said? Wow. Wow. 
<laughs> All right, there he is. That was nice. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell. <laughs> hearts, <laughs> hearts, shares, shares, likes, likes, more. And a lot for like um, Winnie the Pooh characters, uh, Tigger or Piglet. Eeyore. All right, what's the next one? Who are we pulling up next? Do do Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Just because it's an animal character. And it's a, Robin Hood is the. Everybody wants Nemo. Robin Hood is the first movie you ever saw in the theater, right? First Disney movie? First Disney movie, yep. Bambi. You could just draw any clownfish and say, look, it's Nemo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know. Mushu Bambi. I will say when um we just went I just went to Epcot uh two weekends ago and we went into the Living Seas and which is still my favorite part of Epcot. It really is. And um there's a little area where they had they had like a little side room where they've got like the seahorses and stuff like that and there was one little column of a tank and there was two clownfish in there and one was bigger and one was smaller and was oh like, yeah it's got to be marlin and his or yeah and, his dad and it's got to be on purpose yep do you think illustrators have a place in disney oh, of course yeah Is Meet the Robinson? That's not. Yeah, that's Pixar? Disney. That's Disney. Oh, Disney. Okay. Hmm. Yep. Directed Insta directed by uh, directed by um 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 oh come on Aaron. Steve Anderson. Instagram question: Do you think going to animation school is necessary to work in animation? No, absolutely not. I never went to animation school. I went to art school, but I don't think you, nowadays, you know, I went back in the 80s when it was a little different. I don't think you really need to go to school anymore to get the information you need in order to get a job at a studio. There's so much stuff out there for online learning and going to college nowadays has gotten so obscenely expensive that um, I don't recommend it anymore, to be honest with you. I... Um, I just don't agree with how much they're charging uh, people. You know, when you when you have when you leave school and your your school debt is as high as a house house mortgage, there's something wrong with that. And uh, that's a horrible drawing. Steve Floweth says, "Well, hey, maybe art like school you. is more important than you thought." Aaron. Yeah, actually, Aaron went to art school. See, so there you go. It doesn't help. <laughs> it doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. It's Steve good. Floweth on TikTok says, will AI replace you, Aaron? No. Are you going to let AI replace you? Are you? Because AI is out creating art, are you going to stop creating art? No, you're not, right? You're going to keep on drawing then? Yeah, of course. Oh, someone wants a villain. We haven't done. You haven't done a villain yet, have you? I haven't. What is the worst movie you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> don't say it oh there's too many there's too many to to, to uh it's definitely not black cauldron i can tell you that the movie's it. way worse than that like an animated movie or just any they movie? just mean worst movie i don't know i mean that's you know you said it the other day people work just as hard on a bad movie as they do on a good movie so it's not good to yeah. disparage attack of the killer tomatoes i was thinking that you would say that <laughs> Only because it's like a, a B movie. It's a classic. That had its, film. got its own the Saturday morning cartoon in oh, the no. 90s. I know. <laughs> Chud. Chud, yeah. <laughs> Cannibalistic underground dwellers. The Toxic Avenger. Those are iconic, though. What a horrible drawing. But you can tell it's him. Oh, that looks so nice. I like it. Ooh, it's way out of whack. I'm glad Alex Cooper Schmidt's not here. <laughs> he said, Aaron, what are you doing? <laughs> Stein, Stein. Stein. I thought you knew how to draw. So disappointing. And you still got over 900 people and 81,000 likes on TikTok. Well, thank you guys. Oh, someone says Alice in Wonderland. I guess any character. The rabbit? Cheshire the Cat. Queen of, oh, the Cheshire Cat. The Queen of Hearts. 
How do you get good at storyboarding, framing, and composition? You know, it's one of those things where you just study it and you um, you do it, and then you look at other people that you admire and you you know mimic what they're doing, and you just learn over time. It's that's just how it works. And you mentor, you study cutting, you study cinematography, you study all these things that make great storyboarding and those are the things that you focus on. We actually have an animation sale going on on our website that ends tonight, which includes several storyboarding courses, which are all $10 or less. So today's your last day to get that in on that. And we've got three different courses on storyboarding. We've got one from Tim Hodge, one from Lyndon Ruddy, and a new one from Woody Woodman. And they're uh, great courses. Uh, so if you head on over to CreatureArtTeacher.com, you can check those out. After this one, can you go through the drawings just to show everyone what you've done so far? Sure. I know I should be getting into color now. I huh? should be getting into color, but I had to. I wanted to get this little bit of that. Are you thing doing back. that on a separate layer? No, I was, but I I, I combined the layers. Oh, okay. All right. So we've got Robin Hood. We've got Lightning McQueen. We've got Lady, we've got Beast, we've got Goofy, bad Goofy, bad Donald, we've got Peter Pan, we've got Snow White, we've got Stitch, we've got Pluto, we've got Simba, we've got Nala, we've got Mufasa, and we started with our hero Mickey. So I count 14? 14 so far. The drawing marathon. How long we've we been at it? Well, we haven't even been at it an hour yet. Nope. All right. So, what do we got? Uh, who do we want to do next? And Richard from TikTok said, "Just became a premium annual subscriber. Look forward to getting started." Oh, that's great. And uh, oh, let's since we did one, uh, we'll do this. Other we have one a thing. comment on Instagram. Thanks for the one dollar course. I just, I just uh, got it. Well, that's a perfect segue. Let's uh, let's mention that. Yeah, we have a $1 character design course over at CreatureArtTeacher.com available for now. Uh, the sale ends soon. It includes over 16 hours of lessons and over 20 videos, plus tons of bonus material. If you go to CreatureArtTeacher.com slash learn, you can pick up Aaron Blaze's character design course at Creature Art Teacher. And for people that don't know, Aaron was with Disney for over 21 years as a director, an animator, and a character designer. So characters like Yao, uh, the Ancestor Ghost, Raja and Aladdin, Young Nala, uh, are all characters that he designed himself and in addition to many many so i'll go on over and i'll teach you everything i know about character design and someone says can i purchase that in the uk yes you absolutely can we sell all over the world we have customers in europe asia south america africa all over the world we've got students We've sold to uh, over 100 countries, I think. Oh, well over. It's like 180 countries. Yeah. And uh, we've also, all of our courses are learn at your own pace. So you're basically able to just watch them at your convenience. They don't expire. Once you purchase a course, it's yours to access forever. So there's no time limit. Uh, did you work on the Once Upon a Studio short? I did not. I would have loved to, but... Nope, they didn't come and knocking. Can we meet you at Annecy this year? No, unfortunately. Well, we're going to try to be at Annecy, but I don't think we're going to make it. Um, well, we might go on a scouting trip. Yes. Um, we might be there. If we are going to be there, we will definitely let everybody know. Is Pinocchio the best Disney movie ever made? I think it's one of them for sure. I personally like Bambi better, but I love Pinocchio. It's a close second for me. Someone says you have to do Wreck-It Ralph or Penelope. All right. That'd be a fun one. This is the Tramp, right? It is the Tramp. The Tramp. You did Lady. Now here's the Tramp. Hey. 
I can't really do his voice, but he's so smooth. Yeah. How's it going, kid? Someone says, if you're talking about the magic of Disney, you've got to do Tinkerbell. That's yeah. true. Tinker. Did you like Zootopia? I like Zootopia so much, I wish I'd been able to work on it. That's the one film that people always ask me, if there's a Disney film that you didn't work on, uh, that you really wish you could have worked on, what, what would it be? And that would definitely be Zootopia. We got to do a little nudge to Byron when he gets underway on Zootopia too. Yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> In TikTok, there's been some requests for Duchess from the Aristocrats and Flicka the Horse. I'm not familiar with Flicka. Flicka is, is from is Spirit, I think. That's not a. Oh, that's not Disney. I don't think so. We're doing. He's doing Disney characters in celebration of a hundred years of the Walt Disney Company, right? Yeah. Which is today. Oh no, there is a live action movie called Flick. Uh, that is a Disney movie. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a live action movie. Sorry, I was thinking it was. Uh, the oh, the other Spirit. one was Spirit. Okay. Yeah. Um, would love to see Max Goof. Oh Max, Max, oh, Max from the Goofy movie. Oh, Go okay. Goofy's son. Just shrink Goofy. Yeah. And I, I still, the number one right now is Nemo, but uh, I won't stop Okay, saying Nemo. It. Oh, no, no, no. Don't <laughs> don't stop saying because I keep forgetting. I uh, I need, I need. Uh... I want to end a couple of requests for Coda. Okay. Uh, so let's do. It's a twin. Nemo. And you got to do color and the orange and the Nemo. Otherwise, yep. you just got to do it. All right, let me see if I can find Okay, everybody who's been waiting for Nemo. I wonder if clownfish taste funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Have you ever used any 3D animation software like Blender or Maya? I never have. No, I've never done any kind of 3D before. I started to learn. I started to learn how to do Maya, but I just was never able to finish up on it and Kind of let it go. From Aladdin, is it Abu or Abu? Abu. Abu is the monkey. Yeah, Abu is the character from The Simpsons. Okay, I always get those confused. Those names. Bolt was Bolt Disney. Yeah, yep. Bolt's Disney. Yeah, Tim, Byron Tim Merton's. Tim Merton's uh, edited it. Byron directed it. Yeah. Mike Wazowski. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a fun one. No, it's not safe out there. Don't go. Don't go away. What are you drawing? Someone said, is that Nemo? That is Nemo. I didn't realize Nemo doesn't have eyebrows. He's a fish. Fish don't have eyebrows. I'm going to give him some eyebrows. But not even for emoting? They, they do a little CG ridge. But that's... Yeah, yeah, they do. Ridge. They've it's got a, a, it's a, and they do like a little darker area above his eye. What about Herbie the love bug? <laughs> <laughs> He's not animated. Ooh. Pete's dragon would be cool. And here's his here's his little fin right here. Oh yeah, Pete's dragon would be cool. Pete's dragon was in uh, was in Once Upon a Time. It was. He was. Yeah, I saw that when it came out in theaters too. I was nine years old. On um, TikTok, bro, what says any tips on smooth animation without sixty frames per second? Yeah, do it at twenty four. You can still get smooth smooth animation. I've been doing twenty four my entire career. Yeah, films and movies are done at twenty four frames per second. People. Because games play at 60 frames per second, I think there's a misconception out there that they think that that's what animation is. But No, all our animated films are done at 24 frames per second. And that's considered being on ones, right? Yeah. Yep. Do you make your own short films? Yes. We are in the process of making our own short film now called Snow Bear. If you go over to CreatureArtTeacher.com and become a member, you can join me every Tuesday and Thursday as I make Snow Bear. And you can sit in with me. We've got a great group that comes in every Tuesday and Thursday. And it's a little filmmaking class. You'll learn how to make animated movies. After this, can you draw Raja? He was the tiger in Aladdin. 
Oh, was he? Okay, I'm not sure if I can do that or not. I'm going to give it a shot. <laughs> I created Raja, believe it or not. Yeah. I was being facetious. Miles asks, as such an influential animator, do you know how much you mean to the art and movie world? <laughs> Nah, Don't I'm not, that. there I'm there are much more influential animators than I ever was. I'm just I'm just out on the interwebs you're, a lot. You're sharing your knowledge with the world. I'm on the interwebs a which lot. Which not everybody's doing. Yeah. No gatekeeping here. No, that I refuse to do. Is this Photoshop you're working in? This is Photoshop, correct? Yes. This is amazing, said Footprints. Do you know Mary Blaze? I do not know Mary, work? Oh. Mary Blair. Mary Blair. Oh, that's what they Mary Blair. Oh, is that what it says? That's what they meant to say, oh, okay. probably. Mary Blair was uh, an artist back in the 60s. and Very famous designer. Uh, we Everybody knows Mary Blair's work. You know why? Alice in Wonderland. Not just that. It's the most annoying and most famous ride in Disney history. It's a small world. It's a small it's world. Yeah. All of that, that's her design. I like the Shrek version of that. <laughs> <laughs> and wipe your <laughs> <laughs> Yes, this is Adobe Photoshop, right? Yep. Yes. And are you using your own personal brushes that you've made? I am. This is all Aaron's Pastel C brush, which you can get on our website creatureartteacher.com uh, you can buy it as part of a pack where we've got hundreds of other brushes or you can get this particular pastel C brush for, for free if you sign up for our newsletter right on the homepage at creatureartteacher.com I like this brush because it has a very organic feel to it and uh, that's something I strive to get in my brushes Nate wants to know what you think about Japanese animation I love Japanese animation love it a big fan of Miyazaki. All right, so there's our Nemo. How long did it take you to create Raja? Oh, probably a couple of months to create him. Is that, that's what I'm doing next, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Nemo. There's, there's the, Nemo. That was the number one request on TikTok. So. All right, on. I'm glad we were able to do it. Is it possible for someone in their 30s to shift to a Disney animation career? Yes. Absolutely. I'm a firm believer in that. And you had people that started in their 50s and 60s, right? Yeah. Yeah. We had, uh, we had someone that was a pro political prisoner in Cuba for many years, and he got out and uh, came and started working with us. got an internship in his 50s and uh, worked with us up until he passed away um, not too long ago. Um. Juan program. Morales. Sorry. Oh, you're good. What programs do you use um, to draw normally on your Cintiq and then also on the iPad? I use Photoshop uh, on my Cintiq, and then I use um, Procreate on my iPad. Did you create Thumper? <laughs> no. In 1942? Are you talking? Are you What? That was a little bit before you were born. A little bit before my time. Do you need a college degree for this line of work? You look good for 85, Aaron. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, no, you don't need a college degree for this line of work. You absolutely do not. So I think um, we've had your students from your online courses go on and get professional careers. We have. Many. From using, from using your courses, so. Yep, yeah, that we have. Is there a way to work as an animator for Disney while living in the UK? Yes. Well, I know Disney has been known to farm out stuff, but I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't think it's a common practice. So I don't think it. I'm going to tell you no right now. Probably not that it's not possible, but it's not generally the yeah the way. If you're if you're looking to work full time, you would likely need to be located in the, in the states for those who are, who are just joining us he is aaron today is drawing 
as many Disney characters as he can for the 100th um, year anniversary of the Walt Disney Company. Which is today. Which is today. Is that Simbad? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> 100 years ago today, the Walt Disney Company started. That's this right. Roger. From from Frosted Flakes. From <laughs> it's great. From, uh, Aladdin and Aaron actually designed Raja and animated him. There is sometimes a question if Raja is a boy or a girl. I have always imagined Raja as a boy. Raja has always been in my mind a boy. I didn't realize that was a question. Yeah, and it's funny because girls think he's a girl and boys think he's a boy. Because hmm. it's a tiger and there's no really distinguishing yeah. like clothing or anything that you know, doesn't talk. Because I think girls, this is my opinion, girls have always thought of Raja as like her friend and confidant, which I always thought that too. But I think boys tend to see Raja as her protector. Interesting. Soup says Raja means king in Hindi. Well, there you go. Not sure if that's accurate, but that's what they said. Yeah. Maybe that's why I thought, because I've heard that before. Maybe that's why he's stuck in my brain. Is The most common question, like when you're on paper, what pencil are you drawing with? What brush are you drawing with, Aaron? Yeah. <laughs> This is my pastel C brush. And if you get it, you instantly can draw. Yep. If you get it, then that's the secret <laughs> to good drawing. It's a magic brush. Just kidding. It's an AI brush? Aaron, Aaron Intelligence. Aaron Intelligence. <laughs> that joke never gets old. Uh, confirmed on YouTube, it does actually mean king in Hindi. So there you go. Oh, awesome. Which pack is the pastel sea brush in? It's a Aaron's brush set one. I put a link in the comments on the other platforms, but I can't. Okay. I'm not on TikTok to post the links. Plus, you can't click links on yeah, TikTok I, yeah, or Instagram. It's a little bit of a pain. And even if I type in like a um, as a comment a website, it won't allow. Yeah. It. Yep. Hades or it's, Scar. But it's brushed Hades? that one. You drew Scar the other day on paper, I believe. I did. Well, it was an attempt. It was good. Oh, I know. Roger Rabbit. That's my favorite. <laughs> I know. That was me. Sorry. Let's do... Uh, that, we need to do villain. Let's do... And we'll do Roger as well. A villain? A lot of people Great. are asking for Scar. I'd Scar. Like to, I'd like to see you take a stab at uh, Jafar. Ooh. Well, you know how, how similar. Let's do let's do those back to back because Jafar and Scar are very similar. And designed and animated by the same guy, right? Exactly. That's why they're similar. Andreas Deja. Cruella. Is it Deja or Deja? Deja. I always say I've always said Deja. I'm and, not sure if it's Deja. You got to do a female villain. He's German. At some point. What's that? You have to do a female villain at some point. Yes. Like um, either Cruella, which is the old school version. Maleficent. Or Maleficent. She's pretty hard. Oh, somebody says Maleficent Dragon. Oh, yeah. Ursula, Twitch comment. There's no shortage of characters to pick from, is there? No, actually, I I read that uh, over the weekend, I was reading about the Once Upon a Time short, and they were saying there's actually in that movie, there's 546 characters making an appearance. <laughs> Yeah, I saw the moose from Brother Bear in it and uh, Kenai and Coda. They're both kind of dead center screen for a little bit. Yep. Where's your son at today, Dustin? I'm cracking the whip. We got him at home putting together some other videos. Yeah, he's at home working. This uh, stream was unplanned, so we normally stream on Fridays and uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. This is a special Monday stream, so we wanted to...
keep on working. We got courses to get out. Yeah, we do, man. Eric on Twitch says, yeah, I, I second Maleficent as a dragon. Oh, the Maleficent dragon. That'd be kind of cool. For people just joining, Aaron Blaze was an animator with Disney for 21 years. He designed and animated tons of Disney characters, as well as directing the movie Brother Bear. And for Disney's 100th anniversary, which is today, 100th birthday, that's why we are drawing a whole bunch of Disney characters. We don't normally do characters that Aaron didn't actually animate or design himself, but today we thought we'd make an exception. Yeah. And we have, if you're Hopefully interested... Aaron has a character design course available on our website. It's over 16 hours long. It's got over 20 videos in it, and you can get that for only $1. Uh, and it's yours to keep. So you basically get lifetime access to that for just $1. Creatureartteacher.com slash learn. We've got a couple people on TikTok wondering if you're using reference or are you doing this out of your head? No, I, am, I, I cannot do all these characters out of my head. There's just too many. So I am using reference. I'm looking up. I've got... Uh, but he tends to be drawing them in his own way. He's not yeah. copying the reference directly. And it's just an amazing feat to be able to look at another drawing and just draw it. I mean, <laughs> I think it's awesome. But the characters you worked on, you designed or animated for Disney, those you've got right in your head. Oh, of course, yes. I'd say about a third of these I'm doing out of my head. Ooh, the Chernabog from Night on Bald Mountain. Oh, that's a good one. You've got a drawing of that one. I do. I need to hang it up. I love Scar. Jeremy Irons is the best voice for Scar. He really is. So good. And they got him back in the Once Upon a Studio because he did a line in there. Oh, that's yeah. right. I wonder if it was a sound alike. Oh, okay, maybe. But we'll have know, to check the credits later. Yeah, because... Yeah, I was a little bit, I wanted him to come back as the voice for Scar in the, in the live action. Yeah. I mean, I like Idris Elba, but. Yeah, I do too. It was surprising if you're going to bring back James Earl Jones that you didn't bring back. Scar, yeah. And he said they didn't ask him. <laughs> he said he would have done it. I thought it was surprising. Oh, uh, Jeremy Irons? Yeah. Oh, wow. Because someone in an interview, someone asked him why he didn't do the voice of the live action. He said. No one ever asked me. Oh, huh? well, there you go. What hardware are you using? This is a uh, Wacom Cintiq 32 Pro. And I am hooked up to a Apple um, Studio. No, it's not Studio. Mac Pro. Hoping to get a studio. Is that the newest one? Yeah. Are they like crazy um, as no. far as power and stuff? Yes, but they're not they're not as expensive as this computer was. Skull. A lot of people want Jack Skellington. Skellington. It is Halloween. It's true. <laughs> How long have you been drawing us, Gray, on TikTok? Oh, about 53 years. But today, about an hour and 15 yeah. minutes. About an hour and 15 <laughs> minutes. Hour and 15. Oh, man, you're at 1,600 people on TikTok. Right on. Thanks, guys. Spread the word. Whatever platform you're on, hit those like buttons, hit those share buttons. All right, so far we've buttons. done 18 characters. We've got Scar. We've got Raja. We've got Nemo. We've got Tramp. Oh, sorry. We've got Robin Hood, Lightning McQueen, Lady, Beast, Goofy, Bad Goofy, Bad Donald, Peter Pan, Snow White. You can see I've warmed up since then. Stitch, Pluto, Simba, Nala. What else have we got in here? Mufasa. And we started with our good friend Mickey. All right, Jafar, right, was next? Jafar, oh, that's right. So we got Scar, and then we got Jafar next. Scar, uh, Jafar. Are all the villains rhyming? What's that? Yes, yeah, Scar, Jafar, and Ursula. They Jafar. totally rhyme. Ursula. <laughs> Ursula. But you'll, you'll see, he's got those the cheekbones, the way they work in. 
very much very similar to uh scar right Scar, yeah sorry i was looking at an image here trying to see which one i want to use i think i'll just use ah it's too much uh he's got so many details in his face yeah who, he really does i mean with the who animated cogs cogsworth was um oh my gosh i'm drawing a blank you remembered it the other day yeah um he was a director of uh home on the range Uh, oh my gosh he also animated iago i'll just have to go with this i don't have i'm trying to find something that has uh will finn well and yes will finn which sounds like the name of a disney character will finn <laughs> can you do Minnie mouse at some point sure we'll do Minnie mouse do you know Jim Cummings at all? No, I don't know Jim Cummings, but he's a great voice actor. Oh, he's on TikTok, they said. Oh. Wow, that's awesome. Someone says, I completely blanked on everything you were saying and just focused on the little dog in the background until they left the room. Oh, <laughs> the little, little clicky feet. Lilo. Oh, well, they can see from your camera when yeah. the dogs come in. A little Lilo or a little stray. Uh, do you ever take part in Inktober? Yes, I just haven't done it this year because we're so busy. Uh, Kid Kida or Kida from from Atlantis. I'm not familiar with that character. That's a girl. I think it might be. I'm not sure. That would probably be the one I haven't seen the most. Treasure Planet, I remember. Hercules. Yeah, it's the girl in Atlantis. She's a princess. What, um, what software is this? This is Photoshop. I'm an old dinosaur. A lot of people don't use Photoshop anymore, I guess, for illustration, but I do. Jafar is wearing a lot of eyeliner. Yes, he is. He's fabulous. He is. So evil. <laughs> Uh, Instagram comment, Brother Bear was the first film I saw at the cinema. Oh, yeah? Very cool. Back in the 1900s, oh, no, that was 2000, <laughs> when they called it cinema. Notice how everything flows into the shapes flow into other shapes. This is very much a design conceit that we tried on Aladdin. You know what? Since, Al Hirschfeld. Since we started with Mickey, whenever we end, we should end with Oswald, the rabbit. Oh, there you go. Since that was his first character. Um, did you used to work for Disney? I worked for Disney for 21 years. I was a supervising animator. I created Raja. I created Nala, young Nala. And I um, created... Uh, Yao and the, and the uh, ancestral ghost, and I directed Brother Bear. Funny thing about Oswald the Rabbit. So Disney recently got the rights back to that character, like five six years ago, I want to say. Yeah, and that was their first character. And do you know who owned the rights? It was Universal Studios owned the rights because they distributed the movies back then. When when Walt Disney first started, they didn't distribute their own movies they had paired up with universal right very very quickly they got into distribution themselves but a few years ago the nfl you know they had monday night football with al michaels and all that stuff which was on abc so that was a disney presentation so they moved monday night football crew to sunday night football on nbc which is nbc is owned by universal so in order to do that to trade they traded al michaels for oswald so they said really? we'll let, yeah we'll let you take our our number one sports broadcaster in exchange for getting our original character back wow and, and they did it so al michaels was once traded for a cartoon character it's a true al story. michaels another useless piece of trivia about al michaels uh -huh. he has never knowingly eaten a vegetable really yep how is that possible he has never knowingly eaten a vegetable. He said when he was young, 
his parents just kind of let him eat whatever he wanted and he just didn't like vegetables and so he never ate any vegetables and he he's never he said he really reiterates never knowingly so right. he, he it said it might have been mixed in with like a dumpling or something yeah. but hey, he's made it to 78 so they were like like the, the person interviewing him, what about something as benign as what carrots you've never had a carrot he goes Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> I think a couple of newcomers on TikTok, um, they want to know if you do any original characters or if you only draw Disney characters. Oh, no, I, I create all kinds of my own characters. As a matter of fact, I'm uh, in the process of animating my own animated short called Snow Bear, which is my own character. I'm just drawing characters today, Disney characters today, because it is the 100th anniversary of Disney. And Aaron was a Disney director. I was a Disney director. So some of these characters are your characters. Exactly. But in fact, you rarely draw Disney characters on on our live streams. Oh yeah, Darcy Halfpenny says Snow Bear. So she's definitely has, has been on our lives before. And she knows all about your short. Oh, right. Uh, Instagram, well, thank you. Instagram question. What were Rick Moranis, Jason Riaz, and Michael Clark Dyke, Duncan like, work, like to work with? <laughs> You all right there, buddy? Yeah. What were Rick Moranis, Jason Riaz, and Michael Clark Duncan like to work with on Brother Bear? They were all wonderful. They were all really great. I loved working with them. Uh, I would do it again in a heartbeat. All right, there's our Jafar. He was a little difficult, but I think we did an all right version of him. People are saying, how about Yao and Mushu? Something from Milan. All right, let's do... A lot of requests for Max from the Goofy movie. Oh, yeah? A lot on TikTok, yeah. Oh, we just got one for Roger Rabbit. I'm down for that one. All right. Well, let's uh, let's switch gears. Let's do Yao, because I want I need to get into something I can just Yao is one on. of Aaron's characters. Yes. He designed and animated Yao and Mulan. Which way am I going to go here? And there's been a couple people for Wade from Elemental. Um, is that the fire? Is he fire or He's water? water. He's water, okay. Oh, that's right. She's fire, right? Yeah. The um, little piece of trivia about Yao, Aaron designed the look of Yao based on his bulldog, Violet. That's right. So if you look at Yao closely... Yao is very much a bulldog. Like his jaw and his, and his nose. Are you just drawing Yao from memory? Yes. Oh, yeah. You've drawn him thousands of times, right? Oh, yeah. Aaron animated Yao, so just on that movie alone, you drew him thousands of times. Yes. What type of a stylus is that? It's the one that comes with the Cintiq. No. It's the it's a Wacom stylus. They do have good pens and touch technology. They certainly do. I want to let people know that if you're enjoying this. Uh, drawing session you're going to love aaron's website creatureartteacher.com we've got over 700 hours of art and animation lessons over there we have a one dollar character design course which is available we're also running an animation sale all of our animations uh courses are on sale and for a limited time with ending tonight uh, because friday was friday the 13th we've been running a promo sale for lucky 13. if you enter promo code lucky 13 at checkout you can get an additional 13% off your entire order at creatureartteacher.com. And Nick, I have one person on TikTok saying that Instagram live comments are off. No, they're on. I'm seeing oh, people okay. commenting. Oh, okay. So there, that's what he looks like without his, uh, much, without his uh, lamb chops on. There's something funny with the Instagram streams, though. I notice sometimes the audio cuts out. People have to leave and come back. So maybe that's what they're... Okay. Yeah, they hopped over to TikTok. Mastermind Connect says, I can definitely vouch for the courses. They're amazing. Oh, thank you. I took that character design course in 2019. Who's King Candy? Is that King Candy's from um, Wreck-It Ralph. Uh, someone on Instagram says, I just bought the character design course. I'm trying to buy the membership, annual premium membership too, but I can't find it in the app. We don't sell the membership through the app. You've got to go to creatureartteacher.com to get that. Um, that just has to do with Apple's membership subscription system thing. So if you go to creatureartteacher.com, you can get that. And that that the membership 
is linked to the app, so you can buy it at the website and use it in the app, no problem. You just can't purchase it in the app. And for there we the go. TikTok question, um, the course is character design, I believe, and that's in the link in the in the bio on TikTok. So yep. just click it, and you'll go right to all the uh, free brushes, digital brushes. Yeah. Yep. And so also the courses. What's our next? What other character did we want to do? We've had tons of. Uh, someone said Maleficent as a dragon. Oh, Maleficent, Maleficent dragon. While you're looking that up, uh, since that person brought up the membership, I'm going to let people know we actually have uh, awesome membership. We, all of our courses are sold a la carte, but we also have two great membership options at Creature Art Teacher. We've got an annual plan, uh, which lets you download and keep everything on the website, which is over 700 hours now. It includes all of our brushes, our live events, our, our photo and reference packs uh, are all included with the annual plan. You get to stream and download. Um, and you get everything we release over the next 12 months of your membership. Or if you prefer, we offer a monthly plan, which is sort of works like Netflix and you can stop and start at any time. Both memberships also give you access to our twice weekly snow bear live streams where you get to uh, join Aaron twice a week as he animates his upcoming animated film, Snow Bear. So if you go to creatureartteacher.com slash member, you can learn all about it. It really is the best deal in art education. It is. Richie wants to know, will Max from Goofy Movie be next on the list? Oh, Max. I keep forgetting about Max. Okay, let's make, let's make Max the next one. Okay, Max okay. after Maleficent. Maleficent dragon. The dragon is complicated, too. Look at all those lines. Oh, she's complicated. All right. I'm going to make sure I'm drawing her right. I think it's a female, so definitely complicated. Yeah. <laughs> And Sarabi, what's that from? Sarabi is... Uh, Nala's mother, right? Uh, Sarabi is uh, uh, Simba's mom. Simba's mom, oh, I gotcha. Oh, okay. Who's Serafi Nala's mother? Serafina ah. is Nala's mom. Couple, A couple requests for Bolt. But we'll just take it one at a time. And this is Photoshop again for those that are just joining. How are we doing out there, TikTok? Are we building up? Oh, we've got a thousand people on. We have one hundred and fifty-two thousand likes and two hundred and forty-two shares. Well, share, yeah. Keep keep letting your people know, letting people know that we're on here. There's a little marathon going on. Yeah, and if you're interested in following Aaron on TikTok or any of our platforms, we're on YouTube, Twitch, uh, X, Facebook. You can look for us as Aaron Blaze Art, A-A-R-O-N-B-L-A-I-S-E, Art. I think you've only one, done one 3D character so far. Oh, no. Yes, no. well, uh, uh, Nemo and Lightning McQueen. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Nemo and Lightning McQueen. Not sure how accurate this this one's gonna be. <laughs> Mr. X on YouTube says, I want to sign up for the courses, but do you also offer a course on time management so I can find the time for the hundreds of hours that I'll need. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why it's all learn at your own pace. Lots of requests for Bolt, too. Um Really? And, and no, I miss Nemo. Well, I'm sure he'll go over the the uh, drawings at some point. I'll go through them again. So you can see. And Mr. X follows up with, I just wanted to say hi and thanks for the streams. I recently got a Cintiq Pro after watching your shows. They're so helpful, friendly, and funny. Thank you for watching. Oh, thanks. And Asha Draws on Twitch wants to know, how do you stay motivated to keep animating if you run into a burnout wall? Uh, I have a problem where I tend to animate 50 times slower when I've run into a wall. <laughs> Yeah, I know that feeling, but I, I really, I keep the end result in my brain and I know that I'm the only way I'm going to get there is to get those drawings done. So that's what I do. Oh, when you mentioned 3D characters, a bunch of people are saying Remy from Ratatouille. Oh, Remy's a good one. What is his Twitch account again? Aaron Blaze Art. Aaron Blaze Art. Did you ever get to meet any of the nine old men? I did. I've met several of them. I met Frank and Ollie. I met uh, 
Oh, geez. Uh, uh, Ken Harris, uh, or Mark Davis, I mean, and um, uh, Ward Kimball. Yeah, I met them all. Not, not all of them, but I met quite a few of them. Some of them were had passed before you were even at the studio, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ward Kim, or, um, 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 yes. Milk, <laughs> Milk Call, right? Milk Call, thank you. Milk Call had passed, passed in the 80s. I think you're doing a great job on the Maleficent Dragon. Thanks. Twitch, I'm Twitch just question, do you do hand exercises before you start drawing? No. Hand push-ups? Yeah. No. So next is going to be Max from the Goofy movie, right? Is it Goofy yeah. movie? Yeah, yep. We'll do Max from the Goofy movie next, and then what was the other one we just said? Oh, Remy would be cool. From Ratatouille. Anyone can cook. What is the screen and the pen you're using? This is a Wacom Cintiq 32 Pro, and it's a Wacom stylus. And for those asking, he's using his Pastel C brush, which is available at CreatureArtTeacher.com. It's in brush set one. You can buy it as part of a set with many other brushes, or you can get this particular brush for free if you join up at our newsletter on CreatureArtTeacher.com, which is right on the homepage of the website. I'll post a link to that as well. Um, and uh, in addition, uh, we've got hundreds and hundreds of other brushes as well, all kinds of stuff for snow, rain, particles, all kinds of stuff. And what's cool is all of the brushes also work in programs like Corel Painter, uh, Procreate, anything that supports AVR files. So on TikTok, we have an uprising uh, for Bolt. It's, a, <laughs> it's an it's uprising. An, it's an uprising for Bolt. <laughs> Team Bolt. <laughs> oh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Oh, there. I love, I love Scrooge and the chipmunks and all that. Do, 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 That's do, all Disney, do, right? Do, 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 do. Yeah. Life is like an airplane. Mm -hmm. What was it like working with Robert William, Robin Williams? I didn't work with him, but I did get to meet him, and he's just he was an amazing guy. He's a very nice person. There we go. So that's that's about as close as we're going to get to the dragon. I think she came great. out okay. Yeah, she came out great. Uh, there we go. So we are up to 21 characters now. Let's go on to the next one. It was Remy? Ma nope, Max. Oh, Max. And then Remy. And then maybe Bolt? <laughs> I forgot about Max. <laughs> uh, what a cutie. Hi, guys. Oh, this is a good one. All right. Yeah, he's going to be fun. Max is going to be fun. I wish, uh, is, I wonder if Dustin's still on because Dustin loves Max. He's just, he's a very. Uh... Oh, someone said Jafar. We did Jafar already. Yeah, we did Jafar. Jafar is right. Where was Jafar? Right here. There's our Jafar. Instagram question. Have you ever seen Wolf Walkers? It's an amazing hand-drawn animated movie from Cartoon Saloon. I actually have a credit on Wolf Walkers. Yep. I did a little bit of character design for them for a couple of weeks. Not enough to that. I, I don't think I deserved credit, but they certainly did. And that was very nice of them. And was a I, surprise. Yeah. Didn't know till the movie came out. Yeah, cool. and we actually um, we went out to Ireland and to the studio, and I lectured on four legged locomotion and wolf uh, walks and walks and runs and trots and all kinds of stuff. And so we worked with them a little bit, with uh, Tom Moore and the crew. We won't forget Bolt, guys. We won't forget Bolt. Um, what do you think about Klaus? Klaus, I think, is one of the most beautiful animated films since Sleeping Beauty. So, I, that, think, so I think it's okay. Do you think Max is just... <laughs> it's okay. Do you think Max is just another version of Goofy? Yes. He's, he's, he's his son. <laughs> but he's still a unique character. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe... Uh... You could do Baloo. This is Raisin Bran, uh, Raising Bran on YouTube says, maybe you could do Baloo since uh, Jungle Book was Walt's last film he worked on. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, I, I realized it, but I forgot about it. 
It's a great idea. This is Max. This is Max Goofy's son. Did they only do one Goofy movie? Yes. I think so, although there's rumors that they're working on a sequel. It's such a huge following. Mm -hmm. Kids of that generation love this movie. My kids so much love this movie. And it's funny because I was just on the other side of that age group. I, I'm like, eh, I've, done, I've actually never even seen it. Yeah, uh, it's so funny. I'm sure it is. I There's just, a sequence. I was never like the the Bigfoot sequence is hilarious, and he's so well designed. I'll definitely have to check it out because I'm sure River will love it. Who's the the guy that's usually the bad? Is it Bluto or what's his name? Pegleg. No, the bad goofy guy. Yeah, is it, is is it Pegleg. Yeah. I'm just forgetting his name. Oh, they had a Goofy movie, too. Oh, they did? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. This is Max, you're right. Can you recommend where to get some good Procreate brushes? PreacherArtTeacher.com Yep. If you go to, they're listed as Photoshop brushes on our website, but they all work in Procreate. You should probably just label that brushes. I love this little Max. He's so cute. <laughs> oh, yeah, there was the Extreme yeah. Goofy movie was the second one. Oh, yeah. I vaguely remember that. Is Gargoyles Disney? It is. Oh, I love, I used to love the. Gargoyles a TV a, series? They had a series. Yeah. 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 I didn't know that was Disney. I yep. have the first two comic books they ever put out in the, in the uh, 90s. It's part of the Disney afternoon. It was because uh, Batman, the animated series, did so well. They were like, ooh, let's do something edgy. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, everyone's saying they loved, they loved Gargoyles. Me too. Quasimodo. That's Quasimodo. First, that's the first request I've seen for Quasimodo. Do the brushes also work in Clip Studio Paint? Yes, we've been told that they do. Aaron doesn't use Clip Studio Paint. The only thing we'll say about all any of the other programs is we officially only design them for Photoshop. But if it supports an ABR file, they should, which most of them do now, it should be just fine. Dustin says, Nick, do you not see my comments? No, I do not. <laughs> is Darkwing Duck Disney as well? Yes, it is. Because that was my jam in high school. I know I was... Darkwing was Disney? I thought yeah. that was Warner Brothers because nope. it was more like a Daffy character, I thought. No. Nope. Darkwing Duck. It's all... That's actually the DuckTales universe. Launchpad's in Darkwing. Oh, that's Darkwing. right. Launchpad's in so many. He's in Chippendales. He's in Scrooge McDuck. DuckTales, yep. Yeah, DuckTales and what was the other one? Tailspin? Yep. Baloo's in Tailspin. He's the pilot. And uh, can you draw Raja from Aladdin? I already did. did. Yeah, he did. So he'll go over the drawings at some point again and you can see everything. Raja from Aladdin is Aaron's character. As is, someone said, maybe Nala next. We already did Nala. Yeah, That's we did Nala. Duck. That's also Aaron's character. I did young Nala. They might be asking for adult Nala, but I, we've already done a Nala. We've got to do... Uh, this is Max in the Goofy movie. There's Max. There he is. Boom. And then I think the next one was Bolt. Or Remy. Or Remy. Okay. Sorry, everyone's still like, Bolt, Bolt, Bolt. Ooh, Dumbo. That'd be a good one. Oh, Dumbo would be great. I want to do Dumbo next. It's a Twitch question. Did anybody request a drawing of Bolt yet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I was supposed to do Bolt next, wasn't TikTok, it? I had... yeah. yeah, it's it's the number one. It was the number one request on TikTok. Okay, sorry. I'll do Bolt next. It's okay. We've still got a thousand people after Remy. I love Remy. Spread the word, folks. Share the lives. I want to see if we can grow this grow this audience. I want to get up to 5,000 people watching. Who's, who's Roxanne from? Do you know what movie that's from? Someone keeps asking. Cyrano de Bergerac. 
No, I. I <laughs> she, are they from the police song? Oh, Roxanne's from Goofy movie. That's the. Girl. Oh, the Goofy movie. Oh, okay. That's the You've girl. You've done two Goofies already. Yeah. Roxanne. Do you draw for Disney? I used to. I was with Disney for twenty-one years. Aaron worked I, I, on Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, Lion King, Mulan, Pocahontas, and he directed Brother Bear. I left Disney in 2010 and kind of struck out on my own, and we've been doing that ever since. I, would, I teach animation now and create my own animated films. Yeah, someone on TikTok said, please draw Bolt soon so that he'll stop asking for Bolt. <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha. He did. Uh, he did draw Robin Hood from Robin Hood earlier, but someone said Sir Hiss would be a good one. Oh yeah. Remy. That was Patton Oswalt that voiced this character. Yep. Right? Yeah. Yeah. He gets a lot of animation voiceover work. <laughs> He's got a great voice. He does. What do you miss most about working at Disney? Uh, I had a lot of great friends there. And um, it was just, it, it, the there was always some kind of joke or, you know, it was just a fun place to work. You know, I, and working on big blockbuster movies, there's something about that that's a lot of fun as well. But that aside, I, I would never, I still wouldn't go back to it because I love... Uh, what I'm doing now, more than that, um, just being able to, you know, kind of work on my own projects and work with the people that I'm working with now, and and uh, I just love it. Oh, sounds like our, our, our little is dog dreamy. is having a dream. Achilles, yeah, he's snoring in there. He's dreaming. He's dreaming. <laughs> when did you get started drawing? When I was about one and a half years old so we're talking about uh 1969 <laughs> the beatles were still together jimmy hendrix was still playing and for tic tac comments um he's already drawn scar but he'll go through the drawings at some point you can see him he's doing a marathon he's trying to draw as many characters disney characters as he can today for yeah, we're getting way more requests than we could possibly yeah. ever get to but we're going to do as many as we can and Rin wants Wade from Elemental so bad. So, so bad. We hear you. I think All right. I there's, think my, there's my very... That was good, Remy. Shaky, Remy. Remy. I like Hi. it. What about Bolt? Got a Bolt yeah. in there? Let's, Let's get a Bolt in there. Hold on. Let me... Let me I, I'm liking the fact that I can throw a little bit of color in here. So I do want to put some color on him real quick. Oh, my gosh. It didn't change the color. There we go. He's gray. It's like a blue gray. Yes. Lovely. What's your canvas dimension in pixels? This is nine by twelve inches at three hundred DPI. So that's not pixels, but we'll figure it out. I can look it up real quick. No, don't worry about it. But I just figured that's what I that's how I set it up. Aaron thinks in inches in, in print, which totally makes sense because that's you know, you're you're thinking about a final product so he tends to always work at 300 dpi yes someone says that's 2700 by 3600 well there you go hi remy look at the little cutie pants hey remy there he is uh TikTok, sorry to, sorry to bother you but um what does he say have you done figment yet Who's Figment? Figment Ooh, is from Epcot. from Epcot. I love Figment. Oh, okay. That's your generation, Figment is. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't remember Figment. Yep. Well, well the, he was never in any movies. He's, oh, he was, he's, he's an Epcot character. Yeah, he's an original character. He's like a little, he's like the, the wizard's dragon kind of thing. Can you maybe breeze through the characters? All right, Bolt. We got Bolt, oh, right? Okay, we're doing Bolt. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, let me do that. Uh, actually, yeah, because we got We'll 20... do a recap in just a sec for everybody. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Bolt. I got to pull up Bolt. Bolty bolt. 
And he's just a pretty simple character, right? As far as his yeah. design. Oh, homie. Yeah. What kind of dog would you say Bolt's supposed to be? I think he's a white German Shepherd. Really? Yes. I think he's a white German Shepherd, I think. I could be wrong, but I think that's what they wanted him to be. Claudia says, hello. Hello, Cla Claudia? Yep. Oh, hello, Claudia. Yep, people are confirming. Yep, he's a white shepherd. Hi, Aaron. Hi, how you doing? I'm a French student. <laughs> I really love your art. And tomorrow I'm going to make a presentation about you for my English lesson. Wow. So, so I have just a quick question. Sure. How does art, how art contributes of your empowerment? That, how does art contribute to my empowerment? Mm -hmm. I think, you know, being able to sit and create things that don't exist and to have people see things in new ways and spark people's imagination that empowers me and i and i and it really makes me happy and and to tell stories that that draw an emotional response all of those are are very empowering abilities and um and the more i do it the better i get at it the lo the more i want to do it so this is bold did you ever use maquettes as reference during your time at Disney? Yes, as a matter of fact, we've got quite a few maquettes. And um, matter of fact, if you come on our lives, we bring our maquettes out. All right. I've yeah, got... we're, you're almost at 100. Um, I'm sorry, you're, you're at 180,000 likes on TikTok right now, and 1,200 people are still hanging in there. All right. Here's a maquette. This is one of my most prized maquettes right here. This uh, for I'm gonna hold it. For TikTok here for this is uh, Simba from The Lion King. This is an original maquette. This is the real deal, and uh, this was um, handed out to artists. You know, when it, whenever a character is created, a sculpture is done, and casts are made of the sculpture and handed out to the artists, and we use them as drawing aids if we had a difficult angle. Uh, to draw the character in, then we would use the maquette to do that. And so this was my Simba that I had on my desk. I also have Nala. And when the movie was over, we got to keep them. So these are the originals. Can you show TikTok one more time? Yep. So there we are. That's it right there. Let's be very and careful. And those are your drawing aids for animating? Yes. Yes, you guys. Finally get Bolt on TikTok. Awesome. Oh, what a cutie. Yeah, whatever platform you're watching on, please hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, hit the likes, you can all the ring various my buttons bell. of that nature. Ring my bell. Would you do anything from the aristocrats at some point? Sure. Someone says, I wonder if animators still use maquettes. Yes, they do. Even on 3D films, they still they'll do 3D prints of characters and turn them. It's not as necessary when you have three-dimensional space, but it's still used from time to time. Do you have a model made for your short film? Yes, we do actually. Yeah. And that was um, sculpted in ZBrush by Tony Cipriano? Yes, and it's actually the course in sculpting in ZBrush, he, showed you uh, he, he shows you how he did that sculpture. Because he has traditional and digital sculpting. He's so great. Yeah, so here is our, our polar bear from snow bear. With his snow bear with his snow bear yeah right there awesome. that's him if you're enjoying this we want to let you know that aaron's website creatureartteacher.com we now have over 700 hours of art lessons, animation tutorials. We've got traditional media. We've got digital art. We've got digital painting. We've got storyboarding, how to pitch. We've got classes on 
character design, animal drawing. <clears throat> like it really is a really well-rounded, fleshed out curriculum we've got over there. Figure drawing, costumed figure drawing. You know, so if you head on over to creatureartteacher.com, if you like these streams, we know you'll love what's going on over there. And in fact, we have a $1 character design course. Right now, for a limited time, you can get Aaron's 16 hour course with over 20 videos for just a dollar. You can go one dollar. You can go directly to that by going to creatureartteacher.com slash learn. CS Designing on TikTok wants to know if you have any tips on how to learn to freehand like this. You know, the more you do it, the better you get. That's my biggest tip. Do it a lot, draw a lot, and you get better at it. You know, you got to get out there and get your paper dirty, we always say. Get in there and just draw a lot. And it's I always say, if you want to do well at playing baseball, you play a lot of baseball. If you want to be a great soccer player, you play a lot of soccer. Well, it's the same with art and drawing. Would you recommend Wacom tablets, and do they have good customer service? Yes, yes and yes. Yeah, they're, they're one of the, well, they are the they oldest are the leader. company in terms yeah. of digital tablets. They've been around the longest. They have most of the patents. Um, so they have some technology in theirs that some of the other ones don't. Although, you know, there are definitely some other brands out there that are catching up. Okay. Um, so, But as a bigger company, they do have great customer support because they can afford to. Okay, so here's what who we've done so far. There's Mickey, Mufasa. Nala, Simba, Pluto, Stitch, I'm drawing blanks, Snow, Snow White, Peter Pan, Donald Duck, Goofy, Beast, Lady, Lightning McQueen, Robin Hood, Tramp, where was Tramp? Oh, no, I'm back here. There we go. Tramp, uh, Nemo. Raja, Scar, Jafar, Yao, the Maleficent Dragon, um, Max. Go Max, yeah, I was going to say Goofy Jr., Remy, and Bolt. Boy, we're getting quite a few in here. So we're up to number 25. This is wow. Baloo. 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 Was there anyone we had after? There's after a bunch. Her? But yeah, there's a lot of Oh, Dumbo, he wanted to do. Oh, yeah, I want to do Dumbo right now. And there was. Um, there he is. Wade, Wade from Elemental. Bambi, he still haven't done. Arist and anything from Aristocrats. A Duchess. So I, um, I actually animated, I have animated Dumbo. I've drawn Dumbo in the past. I animated Dumbo for a, um, a Euro Disneyland commercial way back in 1989 or 90, 1990. 600 people watching on YouTube. Right on, folks. Thanks for watching. Yeah, we've got 1,500 on TikTok still. All right. Over, over 200,000 likes now. Thank you for tapping. So who are you drawing now? I am going to draw Little Dumbo. The sweetest elephant ever? Little Dumbo. It's been a while since I've drawn Dumbo. It's been a while. It's been a while. My grade 12 son, so uh, high school, I guess, wants to study animation. Any advice for him? Yeah, you know, take it seriously. Um, it's a wonderful career. I've been doing it for 35 years. Haven't done anything, anything else. And, um, you know, from one parent to another and one that lived it, you can make a living at art. So... He can make a living at being an animator as long as he digs in and uh, works hard at it. Uh, it's possible. So I've been you, doing it for a long time. You haven't done Kenai or Coda yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got to do Kenai and Coda. Those and, are your characters. And I have someone who's been um, on the live for quite a while and is asking for Sarabi at some point. We can put is Sarabi, you said the mother. Oh, no. Of yeah, Sarabi was. Uh, yeah, we've was, done a uh, lot of Lion King, but... Yeah, Sarabi was uh, Mufasa. Yeah, uh, um, Simba's mom. Mufasa's wife. What do you think about Bluey, the show? Bluey. Nick I, Nick has turned me on to it. It's a great show. I think Bluey is the greatest animated show on television for kids and adults right now. Because it... 
it's not formulaic in any way whatsoever. You know, so much of children's television is just, yeah. ABC happens. And then the next week, AB, it's the same episode again yeah. and again and again. Bluey's never the same thing twice. Oh, that's it's, cool. it's awesome. Um, Jay Lissa from TikTok says, why don't you use a pencil and paper? Uh, because it's for the way that we're shooting uh, and, and transmitting today, it's easier to do it this way. But, but he does pencil and paper do, a lot. But I do, do use paper, especially paper and Especially on pencil. TikTok, he does a lot of pencil drawing on paper. Yep. So it's just not doing it today because he's not drawing today. so many characters. Cod or copper? Is that Fox and the Hound? Yeah. And then we've had several of them. Here's a cool comment. Uh, Daniel uh daniel on youtube says hey mr blaze i'm a 3d animator and thanks to you and your courses i'm now working in disney production thanks a lot wow oh wow thank you thanks for letting us know that's incredible see those are the stories i like to hear because we can say look see you can take our courses and you can get a job in the industry without being two hundred thousand dollars in debt without being two hundred thousand dollars in debt <laughs> But congratulations, Daniel. That's super cool. Yeah. Don says, how about Roger Rabbit? Greetings from Spain. It's another one of your characters you've animated. Yes. So you did Dumbo. You animated Dumbo for a commercial. Was it for Disneyland Paris? Is that yeah, Disney Paris. I animated him for a commercial. Over live action, so he comes flying in. I've actually got the, I've got the still somewhere. Do you remember where that is? I don't remember where it is. You know what? I it's I can go try to find. No, it. No, don't worry um, about it. It's broken. I think it got broken. No, I changed the glass. Oh, that's right. On, no, don't no, don't worry about it. Okay. But it's um, uh, yeah, I've got a frame from that. It was um promoting Disneyland Paris, and it was Dumbo flying up to some people in a hot air balloon. It was so, a fun, fun little bit. For people who don't know, today is the 100th birthday of the Walt Disney Company, uh, October 16th, 1923. Which is why we are drawing Disney characters today. Disney, Disney, Disney. Everything Disney. Fun to come back and visit these guys. There, a little Dumbo. Let's give him a little bit of color. Oh, Olivia from The Great Mouse Detective, someone's saying. Whoa, 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 that was loud. Olivia from The Great Mouse Detective. Wow, that's one I haven't heard in a long time. It's the little girl with the beret. Yeah. She's got the funny little accent. You know, I didn't find the Dumbo cell. It's sits somewhere. That's okay. But I did find this. Is this anything? Oh, yeah. The drawing on the drawing potato on YouTube says hi. <laughs> hi, how's it going, eh? Gotta get something to drink here soon. Okay. Sorry, folks. I'm getting, I'm getting dry. There we go. But not just so good to me. There we go. Thank you, my dear. Look at Roy. Have you ever shown up on a streamer? I never even saw this till the other day. Oh, okay. What is it? Oh. <laughs> no, I don't think I have. Yeah, that's uh, that was for Coda. Coda's supposed to stick. Oh, Coda attaches to it. Yeah. Me somewhere too. And then there's also this um, Beauty and Bell cell. Let me just finish this real quick.
And we still have Bambi. Um, oh, yeah, Bambi. I got to draw Bambi. Bambi. People are like, Bell. Baloo, Bagheera, Shere Khan. We got plenty to... That's that's the best way to do it is just do requests. Yep. Rather Bambi, Bambi, Bambi. There he is. So the, there's our... There's, oh, I got to give him blue eyes. How about quick. Sumper? And Coda. A lot of for Coda. Aww. There he is. Kim Possible. <laughs> you want to show this real quick? I know it's not Dumbo, but... Yeah, so this is a this is a fun little still I got from Beauty and the Beast. This is a little collector's item. It's got a little bit of water damage, but the reason I have it is because it um it was... Uh, I don't know if that's a, a lot of glare. Probably a lot of glare. There we go. You can see it that way. Um, I animated the Beast in this whole song and all the little birds and all of that, so... That was a lot of fun to do. And uh, Mark Hen did Bell, and I did the Beast. Yeah. Baloo! Baloo, is that next? Yeah, a lot of people want a Baloo. And Bambi. Baloo and Bambi, yep, those are definites. All right. Oh, I got quite a few for Coda now. Oh, let me go back to the desk, sorry. Oh, Mushu would be funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got to do a Mushu. I like all the little characters, like Jimmy Cricket and then the Cricket in Mulan. Yeah. Uh, Blue Devil on YouTube asks, Aaron, I know uh, each of the nine old men are great in their own right, but do you have a favorite of favorites whose work inspired you in particular? Milk Call. I think Milk Call is generally seen as the best of the nine old men. By animators, for sure, right? By yeah. animators, yeah. I just, um, yeah, I love Milk Call's work. All right. Head waggle. So you're doing Baloo next? We're going to do a little bit of Baloo. The bare necessities. Yeah. The good old bare necessities. Who voiced Baloo? Kent, was it Ken? Because he did other voices too, right? Something Harris. Not Ken Harris was a 9 old man, but it's Ken. Ed Gilbert, it says. What is it? Ed Gilbert. Oh, I was completely off. Oh, wait, no, Phil, Phil, Phil Harris. Phil Harris, Harris, sorry. I always want to say um, Durante or whatever. Jim I can't want to say Ken Harris, but Ken Harris is one of the nine old men. It's Phil Harris. Phil Harris, yeah. I don't know what the other thing that popped up for a second was. Getting some for Wally. I don't think you've done any robotic characters. Oh, Wally would be a fun challenge. And then um, Sarabi still... Brandon Jones is holding out hope that you'll draw Sarabi at some point. Okay. <laughs> I'll have to draw Sarabi. Oh, lots for Kenai and for... Oh, so I always thought that was interesting. So he did Baloo in Jungle Book, but he also did Little John and Robin Hood, who I always just that's thought right. was the same character. I thought Baloo was supposed to be Little John. Oh, that's funny. Because it's the same voice. It's the same, yeah, and it's basically it's a, the same it's character. character. Different color, right? I thought it was just like a crossover as a kid, like, you know. Oh, well, he's just in both movies. Yeah. Oh, and they're asking for Bernard or Joanne from The Rescuers. You worked on The Rescuers. I did. Down Under. Matter of fact, I, I did a test of Joanna to get uh, to get my animation promotion. How can I learn to draw an animal when I don't have reference for it? Well, you can't, can you? <laughs> so you got to get the reference. <laughs> that's the only way. I don't know what else to tell you. If you don't know what the animal looks like, then, yeah, that's the only way you can do it. I mean, drawing it from life or reference, right? Is yeah. The... You draw it from life. You you find it at the zoo. You find it on, on the Internet. Uh, you find it in books. Unless you're I highly to... doubt that there's an animal out there that you can't find reference on. Well, they could mean like dinosaurs, stuff like that. In which case, you have to you can infer from from the bones. You can still infer from other similar dinosaurs. From the bone anatomy, right? Aren't they saying that all dinosaurs used to have feathers now? Not all, but oh, okay. a lot of them also. It's so, sort of like you know, mammal. One of the traits of mammals is that they have hair, right? Well. There's a, a lot of whales that they have like, kind of vestige of little teeny pieces of hair, but, you know, whales aren't necessarily hairy dolphins. They don't have any hair, but there are little bits here and there. So this is Baloo? This is Baloo. It's not a very, it's not a very good Jungle Baloo. Book. 
I just so bare necessities. So simple, bare necessities. Getting a couple for Iago. Iago, the most annoying character ever. If I have to eat one of those moldy, disgusting crackers. <laughs> Go for God. Oops. What a voice. What a guy. Yeah, a couple for figment still floating around. I've seen lots of people say Jim Hawkins from Treasure Planet. Yeah, I haven't done too many human characters, have I? Some people have been saying Ariel. Yeah. Da, 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 da. I've seen Ariel and Bell a couple times. Lots of Bambies. What computer program are you using? I am using Photoshop. Bill from Hercules. Genie. That's a biggie. Oh, yeah. But is he in the bottle? Does he... Does he have legs? Absolute cosmic power. No, you got to do him without the legs. Yeah, with the little... Bitty, bitty, little I mean, you don't have to do it without the legs. Aaron's the one doing it. He can do whatever he wants. <laughs> there he is. All right, there's Baloo. Nice. That was good. I still think Wally would be a good one. All right, Wally. Let's do Wally next. Wally. Wally. Did you ever work on Little Mermaid? I did not. They were working on Little Mermaid when you started at Disney, Exactly. Right? And you were on Rest Groups Down Under at that time? Or Roger Rabbit? No, I was on Roger Rabbit. Well, I know they, they were working on, well, I guess they were, yeah, we kind of overlapped. And user 8861 says, on TikTok, says, love when you go live. Ah, uh, thank live. you. You still have a thousand people on TikTok, and I'm sure the other platforms you've still... Got yep. people hanging in there. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Ring those bells. Hit that share button. Ding, 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 ding. We need like a tip jar. Yeah. <laughs> Do you prefer Wacom tablet or pencil and paper? Uh, pencil and paper usually. I love Wacom. Um, for if I'm doing digital, I prefer pencil and paper over digital usually. But I love working um on a on a Cintiq when I'm when I am working digitally. Is Balto Disney? No. Balto okay. was I don't think it was Bluth. Who was Balto? It was Bluth, I think. Pretty sure it was. I'll double check, but And for those just joining, Aaron's was Fox, doing at the very least. A, I don't think it was Bluth. A Disney character marathon for the hundredth uh, year anniversary of the Walt Disney Company today. Yes, it's Wally for everybody that wanted Wally on TikTok and everywhere else. There he is. Someone said, wasn't it Amblin? Yeah, I thought Amblin. I think you're right, Amblin. Yeah, but it was, it was a, it was like a co-production. Okay. I believe. I don't think Bluth had anything to do with that one. Yes, Kayla, we love Wally too. Oh, and, and they're reminding about Bambi. Oh, yeah, Bambi? Okay, I got to get Bambi. Or flowers, yeah. You can call them flowers. There's all those little treads in there. And Jordan says, Pocahontas for my fiance is her favorite Disney princess. Can you call out for Chloe? Hey, Chloe. Let's see. We'll get a Poca Pocahontas in here soon. Do you ever make mistakes when you're drawing? Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, do you ever catch mistakes in films? Yes. We used to have a contest when we were kids of who could um, find yeah. the mistakes. Yeah. The... In live action or animation, where it's just the car is crashed on one side and then it's on the other side. Exactly. Yeah. Or in like Game of Thrones, there's like the Starbucks cup. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh. Tyson wants to know if you can confirm or deny Disney conspiracy theories. I think they mean like the um the in the the word in the clouds or any Easter eggs. Yeah, I mean the the word in the clouds is not a real thing. People well, thought it, it says was. SFX. Yeah, it's, it's not it's effects. not the the sex that everyone thinks it is. Now the Aladdin one is weird though, right? Because you animated that, that one. I can't I can't I can't tell you what happened there. Because I animated that shot. But the dialogue that you animated to is not the dialogue. It's not the dialogue that came out in the movie. No. Yeah. Oh, what about Jasmine? Someone's saying, since you did some animation of Jasmine. Yeah, I could do Jasmine. We haven't really done many of the princesses yet. Wally's looking nice. Wally. Wally. It's my son's favorite movie. Got to get my perspective right. <laughs> Lily, Lily's on Instagram screen. comment. Hello, Wally. I just bought your character design course. Thank you for offering it. Oh, thanks for watching. Instagram question. Are we going to see Brother Bear? Sure. How about Pumbaa? I, I had Pumba up earlier, and I just didn't. We got I got sidetracked. Yeah, it's almost like Disney has a lot of characters. Yeah, <laughs> and he did do um, what's the Ratatouille character? Remy. 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 He did do Remy. Someone yeah. says Frank or Tinkerbell. I know. I saw. Who's this? E.T. No. Who's that? Wally. That's Wally. It's one of your favorite movies, isn't it? Yeah. You want to say hi to people on the internet? You would like to. Say hi, Rivers. It's my son, Rivers, making a guest appearance. There he is. There's Wally. That looks great. What's a niche kind of experience you have as an animator? Niche? Yeah, I think I maybe something that maybe only anim animators experience that other people may maybe don't. Flipping paper? You know, flipping, yeah, flipping paper. Uh, working with voice talent? I don't know. Uh, I think it's the paper. the paper part of it is the biggest thing, I think. Yeah, people are always amazed at the... Or, and they don't know why you're flipping the paper. Yeah. I think people thought the animation was like di digital in the 90s or something. That yeah, wasn't, yeah, it wasn't. It's all done on paper. Someone says, this live is gold. Can you please post it on Instagram? I wanted to hang here till the end, but it's 1.30 a.m. and I've had a long day. <laughs> well, You're obviously in Europe. So it's interesting. The Instagram feeds, they have a video limit, right? So we can't repost them there but they're always up on our youtube channel afterwards so you can always go to youtube.com slash aaron blaze art and you're saying you might cut something together too to post right yeah or maybe of all the characters yeah little... and i'm going to create i'm going to shrink each one of these down and uh just create a page of everything we've done today awesome we should see if we can hit every feature every animated feature i uh, mean well there's a hundred of them what is this monitor called you're working on? This is a Wacom Cintiq 32 Pro. I'm doing a Bambi next. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. And then maybe Tinkerbell? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, Tink would be good. Hey, Tink. Don't forget about Jasmine. And I know Sarabi's still in there. We're, we're going to make that happen. Oh, I got so many I got to do. I know. Sorry. Oh. Uh, Oh, a Pocahontas. Oh, yeah. I got your $1 character design course. I'm an animation major in college, and I'm using it to help me along the way. That's from Seven Deer on Instagram. Oh, that's great. I love to hear that. Thanks for letting us know. Let us know what you think of it. Please do something for Brother Bear. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting Brother Bear. You How directed that movie. <laughs> How about Isma or Crump? All right, what are we doing next? We're doing Brother Bear next, okay? After Bambi, right? After Bambi. And then we'll... 
figure out another one after that. Oh, we did Pluto earlier for somebody asking. Ooh, Stromboli. Stromboli would be fun. So we've been on for two hours and 20 minutes. Has it been that long, really? Yeah. You've had to have done 30 characters already. We've done, this is 20, this is t number 28. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a lot. We've been talking a lot. See, I was hoping to have had 100 by this time. Yeah, but well, you, you started oh. doing color. Yeah, and you've got to answer yeah. questions. <laughs> you know, you're answering questions. And you're, you're thinking. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking. Quiet. I'm Don't bug me. I'm thinking. thinking. Max Rossi says you are the best. Hey, thanks, Max. I just realized you're left-handed. I am. That's when you switch styluses and go, actually, I'm, I'm not. I'm ambivalent. <laughs> oh, no. How can you draw like that so good, That's Midnight? Well, I've been doing it a long time. If you do it a long time, you can do it yourself. Aladdin, please. And you did do J Jafar and Raja so far. I did. From Aladdin. Let's see. I'm going down the list of animated features. Uh, we've got something from Snow White. We don't have anything from Pinocchio yet. That's number two. Maybe. Um... If you do the Chernabog, that would cover Fantasia. What about Figment? What's that from? That Figment is just. Oh, it's from it's from Epcot. Epcot, oh, yeah. Okay. The Reluctant Dragon. I don't think I've ever heard of that one. Is that a, considered an animated feature? It's a sh short. Do you always draw so upright on a digital? Yes. Yes, the rescue is down under Aaron, actually. That was his first feature he ever worked on at Disney. And we'll maybe do one of the characters in that at some point. You did Dumbo. You're Got a list. doing Bambi now. Oh, he said Figment is a Disney science show. Okay. Yeah, it was Epcot. It's a ride at Epcot. Did you animate Bambi too? No. Bambi came out in 1942. I was born in 1968. In another life. This isn't the best Bambi, but oh, we'll have to great. do Tom Bancroft wants to know, what does Aaron smell like? Like I, Tom, I smell like peaches and strawberries. And rose petals. Mm -mm. Who asked that? Tom Bancroft on TikTok. You got to draw Mushu for Tom. Oh yeah, Tom, Tom I'm going to try to draw Mushu. We got 1,100 people. So for those of you that don't know, Tom Bancroft is the creator of Mushu. And he's on right now. He's on TikTok right now. Follow yeah. him on TikTok, Instagram. Go, yeah, go over and follow him because he's got a great page. And he's got an animation studio called Pencilish working on a bunch of animated content. You can follow them on YouTube, Pencilish Studios. Be sure to check them out. Tom's also a great teacher in his own right. And Tom Bancroft says, go ahead and try. <laughs> <laughs> he says, try to... <laughs> All right, I gotta put some. I'm I've gotten into the habit of putting color on these guys, so I gotta I gotta throw a little bit of color on Bambi here real fast. Then I'm going over and I'm gonna try Bambi. I mean, uh, Mushu, <laughs> Mushu and then Brother Mushu. Bear. Yes, and then something from Brother Bear. Yeah. And Balto and Anastasia are not Disney. Um, today he's doing. A marathon of Disney characters because of the 100 years. It's 100 years. I want to see how many. I wanted to see how many Disney characters I could draw that I've never drawn before. And check about check out the 100 um, year anniversary of uh, Once Upon a Studio on Disney Plus. Just came out. It's, it's cool. really great. And it was so cool to see the Brother Bear characters at the end in the big photo, and. Raja and Young Nala and all, all the characters you worked on. Hi, Mr. Blaze. What brush are you using right now? This is my my uh, my pastel sea brush. All right, there's there's Bambi. 
All right, let's do this. Mm. Beautiful. All right, so there's that's number 28. Number 29. All right, Tom. Mushu. Tom, 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 we need Tom, Tom. <laughs> Try as you might. Tommy, Tom, Tom. You've never drawn Mushu? No. I don't think I have. No, I, I, I never have. Oh, my God. Tom, it, he's too complicated. Did he design him? Yeah. Tom, it's too complicated. And he already did Young Nala, um, and he'll go over the drawings again at some point. Now, you guys did a bunch of scenes together, but probably the the one with Mushu that you did the most would be Mushu and the Ancestor Ghosts, right? Yes. Yes. And um... Tom says, be prepared to be judged. <laughs> I'm going to be judged. <laughs> Let's see. I, I need reference. Yeah, obviously, I need reference, Tom. So be I'm, prepared. Maybe you can do them halfway up. We already did. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not going to do the whole body. Baby steps. Baby steps. Tom says wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Well, when it's your character, you know all the ins and outs. I know. Start when over. The circles. No problem. And he already did scar Bianca, um, and we'll go over those uh, drawings again soon. Emperor's new group character, maybe. Have we done anything from Yzma and Kronk are cool? I'm nope. make sure I'm getting the right proportions here. Well, he's got like that little mustache there, doesn't he? Nick, can you list the characters that Aaron's worked on? Because I know he's thinking. Sure. <laughs> thinking. Aaron has worked on Roger Rabbit in uh, Roller Coaster Rabbit and Trail Mix Up. He worked on a bunch of characters, mostly the prison animals in Rescuers Down Under. He worked on Beast in Beauty and the Beast. He designed and animated Raja and Aladdin. He also did a few shots of Jasmine and Aladdin in that movie. Uh, he worked on uh, Yao in Mulan and the Ancestor Ghosts. Um, he worked on the character of Pocahontas in Pocahontas. Um, you worked on Young Nala. Young Nala and designed and animated Young Nala in The Lion King. He also did some of Adult Simba in that movie and, and Young Simba too, I think, a few shots. Right, Aaron? Am, am I mistaken on that? And then Beast too, yeah. right? Yeah, I said Beast. Oh, okay. Um, he directed Brother Bear, and I feel like I'm forgetting some. I don't know. I'm focusing on focusing on this guy. <laughs> drawing Mushu's hard. Drawing Mushu's. <laughs> drawing hands are hard. Drawing Mushu's hard. Actually, you're off to a good start, I think. Oh, don't tell Tom that. It's okay. We blocked him. <laughs> <laughs> Block. So once again, for those of you that are watching and uh, and watching the feed, Tom Bancroft is on watching us right now. Tom is the creator of Mushu, and I'm being judged by him. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle T. Webster says, always fun to watch you draw. Oh, thanks, Kyle T. Webster. Well, your first attempts on all these characters today is awesome. Oh. I don't say so. They're definitely, oh, uh, is that right? <laughs> People are asking for Pumbaa, and that is Tom's brother's Tony's character. Yeah, that's right. Pumbaa is uh, Tony Bancroft's character. Tony was the director of Mulan, co-director with uh, Barry Cook, right? Yes. Okay. Mushu, I'm drawing. drawing oh, I'm drawing. I'm drawing his arms too small. I drew his head too big. Hold on. Is Tony and Tom are brothers? Yep, twin brothers. Identical twin brothers. Not mirror twins. I guess. Yes, they're they're mirror twins. Aren't you guys mirror twins, Tom? What does mirror twins mean? They're they're the same, just opposite. Like one's right-handed, one's left-handed? No, I don't know that, but like Tom, I think Tom parts his hair on one side, and Tony parts it on the other. Isn't it that kind of thing? Tell me if I'm right, Tom. If he's still out there, I'll let you know. Yes, mirror twin, says Tom. That's what I thought. 
That's awesome. I don't know how I knew that even. I didn't even know that was a term. I didn't know it was until I met Tom and Tony and they told me. That's cool. I learned that from them. Oh, I like how those fingers are. I always look forward at the um, event CTN and Lightbox. They wear their red velvet jackets. Yeah. yeah. Their smoking jacket, their dinner jackets. Yes. And they're so tall. Yeah, six, six three. Are you guys? That six seems four, about six right. Four. Yeah. For me, anybody above six foot is might as well be six come, four. When they come walking um, over, you can't miss them. Oh, and Tom, we're going to be at C uh, at Lightbox after all. Our plans changed. With Procreate, right? Yeah. Did you go to college for animation? No, I went to college for illustration. Um. Hold on, Tom's bankrupt says 6'4 and good looking. <laughs> good looking, that's right. Well, of course, that, that goes without saying. He's right. talking about Tony. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Molly on uh, Instagram says, my friend Maddie Hack is your biggest fan. Can you please say hi? Hey, Maddie Hack, biggest fan ever. And Tom Bankrupt says, oh, great. Come see my documentary um, that you're in when you're at Lightbox. Oh, is it screening there? I I think so. Oh, so Tom just finished a documentary called Pencils versus Pixels. Uh, the trailer came out the other day, and I believe it's coming soon to streaming services. Uh, I think iTunes and stuff, if it's not out already. And uh, yeah, if it's at Lightbox, we'll check. We'll have to check it out for sure. He says on Friday night. Awesome. It's premiering it. And that's only, what, a week away? Uh, two, or is it two weeks? We, it's a, we leave a week from Wednesday. To head out there so yep. it's, it's a week and a half so just over a, a week from now light box in pasadena right oh that's what i miss how did i how did i do this whole drawing and not see his little mustache kyle says see you at light box kyle webster all right on don't forget the wish wishes the i know i did Well, he hasn't said anything disparaging about your Mushu yet. <laughs> Good. Uh, Jordan wants Pocahontas real, real bad. Ah, oh, real bad. Yeah, real you kind of got to do Pocahontas. I want been... a Pocahontas real bad. You've been... Uh... Tom, do you remember how to draw Pocahontas? I don't remember how to draw Pocahontas. I feel like Tom's drawn her a bunch more lately. I've than put you that have. movie out of my brain. Tom says, ha ha, it's great. Your Mushu's great. Oh, I know. But do you know how to? <laughs> but do you remember how to draw? No. Do you remember how to draw Pocahontas? He says a bad version of her. Yeah, he remembers, uh, but only how to draw her badly. I can't remember how to draw her at all. It's weird because it's like, it's like I just put it out of my brain. It's it's like it didn't it never existed. Well, it was a hard style, right? Because the, the yeah. animation the style was so reserved. Yeah, it was, it was hard. Tom Tom and I animated her at the Florida studio for. Um, for uh, Glenn Keane, who is based in California. You keep skipping Sarabi. I'm not skipping Sarabi. I'm no, still just, drawing Mushu. We've just, done four characters from, four, five yeah, characters from Lion, Lion King, King, so. <laughs> we know you want Sarabi, Brandon Jones. We Brandon Jones. You, and he has not forgotten you. All right, I'm so glad I got to have Tom Bancroft on here while I attempted to draw his character. Tom says, Next up, Eric Goldberg will be judging you on the genie. <laughs> um, we never really learned how to draw her because we were tracing all the time. Because That's pretty much right. It was because of everything was... Live action. What's it called, mocap? Mo no, it wasn't really mocap, but it was... Well, we what, had to draw we, over stats. What it would be called is rotoscoping. Oh, rotoscoping. It, well, I mean, that's what I mean. It wasn't really rotoscoping per se, but it was pretty close. They probably shouldn't be saying that, but it was, I mean, we it's didn't. Red, we, not brown. Is what, is what um, you're saying. Oh, is it brown? Is I, am I it looks more brown, brown on the screen. Orangey, yeah. Brown. He is red, though. I remember that now. Like a Sienna. You got him. Oh, yeah. And maybe it's the version that you're looking at, the reference. Yeah, I think it's just bad color, the one I'm, I'm the one I'm referencing. Thanks, Tom. 
Tom, was this your was this your scene? I don't know if you recognize this pose. Oh, he's in the bamboo. Yeah, he's in the bamboo, exactly. Yes, this was his scene. Oh, cool. Yeah, definitely go over and, and follow Tom Bancroft's page. He's got a lot of cool stuff going on. And check out their pencilish page on um, YouTube. Pencilish Studios. Tom and this and Pencil Studios, they put out a lot of really great content, animated content. A chip in his ear, someone says. Chip in his ear. Oh, like a little cutout or something? Yeah, there is. Oh, oh yeah, uh, up here on his oh, upper okay. the upper one. Oh yeah, chip in his left ear, Tom just confirmed. Because a lot of people were saying they know their characters, don't they? That's weird. Disney fans aren't really known for that level of attention to do. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, when you love a character. Character Ali says, I can hear Eddie Murphy's voice in my head from that drawing. Yay. Eric says, nope, no characters from Nightmare Before Christmas so far. We got to get somebody there. <laughs> he was Jeez. answering somebody else, not... Uh, Oh, and they, he did someone from Goofy Movie. Uh, he did Goofy. He did, he did, he did Max. Goofy and Max. Yeah. Oh, he needs a snake tongue. But he's got his mouth closed. So that wouldn't make any sense. Someone saying Ursula. That's a tough one. Yeah, Ursula would be tough. She that's Ariel. That's animated by the great Ruben Aquino. And it's only six tentacles, not eight. Because they needed to save money. Well, yeah. <laughs> the, the voice actor says uh, she's a squid, not a not an octopus. Is what she said. Well, it really was to save money, though. They oh, I'm act, sure. They originally des they designed her with eight, is my understanding, and then they said, you know what, we can save a few bucks. Light blue horns. Light blue is that what Tom says? That's what Tom says. I think maybe that reference photo is maybe a little weird. Yeah, Colors. they're all everything's purple. Like How about this, Tom? Blue? Is that pretty? Yeah, that looks... Blue. Fish. That was a great first attempt. That was my, <laughs> fir that was my first Mushu, Tommy. Oh, with purple tips. Oh, purple tip. Whoa, purple what? <laughs> okay. G-rated tips of the horns. All right. There we go, Tommy. Good effort. No, he says, nice copy of my drawing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Cheshire Cat, Tinkerbell. What Somebody said, I was very sad they removed Mushu from the live action. I think everybody was sad yeah. about that. Because he's so funny. Well, I wasn't crazy about the live action in general. All right, next character is going to be... All right, who's the next one? Thank you, Tom, for joining in. That was uh, A lot fun. of people were saying Coda or Kenai. You got to do Brother Bear. Oh, Coda or Kenai. Oh, you can do that with your eyes closed. No, you need I'm terrible at drawing those characters. Really? I know I directed the movie, but I didn't animate those characters. Oh, you've right? drawn... I've seen you draw them both tons of times. Yeah, it's just not... They're not exactly on model. On model. Well, nothing oh. you've drawn today has been on model, Aaron, so... Yeah, true. And Tinkerbell, maybe, next. We do a little tink tink. Don't forget about Olivia. Oh, my gosh, you guys. You're the <laughs> one that wanted to do the Disney Marathon. <laughs> this one looks reminds me of Winnie the Pooh here for a second. I hope you're enjoying this stream. If you like watching Aaron draw, animate, or teach, you're going to love what we've got over on our website. We've got over 700 hours of art and animation lessons at CreatureArtTeacher.com, including right now Aaron's character design course is just $1. $1 for a 16-hour course, over 20 videos, plus tons of bonus material. And that sale is for a limited time. It ends soon. So go to CreatureArtTeacher.com slash learn and pick up Aaron's character design course for just $1. When you're done with this, can you show everybody the Simba drawing? I have a lot of people on TikTok wanting you to draw him, and I know you already did. Listen, TikTok, you got a lot of demands. 
<laughs> uh, what is that? <laughs> that was my attempt at Simba. Tom Tom Bancroft was one of the animators of Simba. He would have done a much better Simba than me. And someone says Jasmine, um, and I've got a lot for the genie, but All right. we'll just... You know I'm in the middle of drawing a character. No, I know. We're gonna, <laughs> I'm going to put a pin in those, guys. You're going to put a pin in those. I'm just trying to relate the message from our TikTok exactly. viewers. Don't kill the messenger. We've got 1,000 people on and 264,000 likes. Thank you, guys. Oh, 429 shares also. Wow. I bought your brushes, but I'm I'm using Procreate. Is it similar to the brushes you're using now? Yes. Yes. So those brushes work in Procreate. One thing that you might want to know, though, is that Aaron works in 300 DPI, so you might need to change the size of your canvas to get the same look. Is this Kenai or Coda? Coda. Coda. You're right, Tia. It's Coda. On uh, YouTube or Instagram, somebody says, uh, Pascala says, you should do a smear version of a character and see if we can guess who it is. What the heck is a smear version? A smear, like a white. Oh, <laughs> I could make anything I want, though, and, and it would still work. Well, they're, that's the fun, though, Aaron. They're saying <laughs> but you're missing my point. Have you ever drawn the great mouse detective? You know what? I had to draw him, uh, Basil. I had to draw Basil of Baker Street. Um, that's a terrible coda, but we're going to go with it anyway. I had to draw him when I was learning how to do in-betweens during my internship. You can watch Aaron's film, Brother Bear, on Disney+. Plus. And he already drew Star. Um, <laughs> he directed this movie. For anybody, uh, he's... He's already done Scar. He's done, what, 30 characters now? Yes, we are up to 30. You got to try to hit some of the princesses. Like, Oh, po yeah, we haven't done any princesses. You've done Snow White, that's it. But I, I think you got to hit... Pocahontas. Pocahontas, Jasmine, Jasmine, Ariel. Have you ever drawn Mulan, the character Mulan? Yes. Ariel. I animated a couple shots of Mulan. Oh, you did? Oh. Huh. I didn't know that. Tiana, yep. right? Is it Just a yep. couple. I mean, very minor. If she was in a character with the Gang of Three or something. And is Anastasia a character in Atlantis? Anastasia no. is a character in a Don Bluth movie. No, I know Anastasia. Anastasia. But is there is there a Disney, anyone called Anastasia in any Disney movie? Not that I know of. Not in like Atlantis or Treasure Planet? Maybe not. No. It'd be strange if there was. It's possible, but. Oh, you got the little bear. Oh, Cinderella. Cinderella, Cinderella. All right, there's our coda. All right. You can cover up his nose, too. Oh, Drizella and Anastasia are, are oh yeah 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 Cinderella's Turn the sister. stepsisters. That's right. Yes. There that's you That's right. Go. I completely forgot that. I did too. Was that from Tom? No. Oh. Um, these are just. I figured Tom would get that. Um, would get that a, uh, trivia. A thousand people on TikTok, and they know their stuff. <laughs> they know their Disney. Who did we say we're doing next? I forget. I don't know. It was a princess. Oh, let's Tinkerbell. do a princess. Oh, Pocahontas. Pocahontas. I got to. I got to attempt Pocahontas. This is going to be bad. Your bad drawings are good. Disclaimer. Dis bad drawing disclaimer. Bad drawing disclaimer. <laughs> Do you know Mike Wazowski? Mike Wazowski from the Monsters, Inc. Oh, okay. I thought they were... <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought he was just calling out some oh, animator sorry. or something. <laughs> Mike Wazowski. So... Pocahontas had this very, very cool kind of angular shape to her head. And I don't know, it's all, it's actually kind of coming back to me. Now. Oh, and Tom had to get back to work, guys. Oh. So, but Could... he was hanging out for quite a while here, which is very cool. Slacker. <laughs> He's gone. Oh, Sully. That's He'll right. watch the replay. Yeah. How 
How can I draw every angle of an anime character? By drawing every angle of the character. <laughs> Someone wants you to draw the broom from Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> or from Fantasia. Is there a broom in, in Fantasia? Oh, the brooms, yeah, the Mick and Sorcerer's Apprentice. The dun, dun, da, da, dun, 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 You think you own whatever land you learn on. Very nice. It's true. I do think that. <laughs> I always liked the shape of her mouth. She had a very this specific is my land. shape. One day too. I hope to build. <laughs> what were you saying about her mouth, sorry? She's got a very specific shape to her mouth. The way the lips are shaped. Everyone's getting their Pocahontas, finally. Jeez, finally. Instagram comment. Don't forget Sarabi. <laughs> People are jumping around, hitting us in multiple channels. Oh, they're going back and forth. Land of August says, I just bought the $1 character design course. Thank you very much. Yes. Tell us what you think of it. I'm staying here until you do Aladdin. Well, that's good. We'll do Aladdin in three hours. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Who's Bella? I know Belle. I don't know if that's what they mean. I think they mean. Yeah, it. Belle. Okay. Oh. Lumiere. Oh, I do look Cogsworth and Lumiere. They're so cool. You should do Lilo. We did Stitch. He's drawing Pocahontas. I know. <laughs> oh, that's a good Pocahontas. I always loved her necklace. The blue of her necklace. It's got her arm tattoo, right? Oh, Be one. Bella is Bell in Spanish. That's why. This one is the only one I've actually did an underdrawing, and now I'm going to do a proper drawing on top. Primitive says that's very, very good, Aaron. Thank you, Primitive. It brings back good memories of a difficult uh, movie to work on. Who's Kovu? Kovu is in The Lion King 2. Okay. Aaron did not work on that movie. I'm not, yeah, I wasn't familiar with that character. Those movies were direct to video. You'll have to do some kind of um, inanimate, uh, well, not inanimate, but uh, Mrs. Potts or something, or like uh, the Candelabra. Lumiere. Lumiere. Genie. Connie says Pocahontas is my favorite animation. Oh, Hades. Hades is awesome. Oh, yeah. James Woods, right? Yeah. I'm not much of a James Woods fan, but man, he did a good job on His that. His voice, though, is got a, he does have a very recognizable voice. What's your favorite character you've ever animated or designed? The Beast. I didn't design the Beast, but I really enjoyed working on him. What's your favorite one you designed? Nala? Probably Nala, yeah. I don't mean to lead the witness, but was it Nala? <laughs> Nala? Leading the witness. Of the young cubs you designed in Lion King, which was your favorite? <laughs> Probably Nala. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. Where did you learn to animate? I literally learned to animate at Disney. I did not know how to animate, and then I uh, got into an internship 
a training internship where they taught me how to animate. I was taught by Glenn Keane, who actually created Pocahontas, this character right here. Fun Film says, hey, Aaron, can you please paint this drawing with all the colors of the wind? Oh, there's Aaron. With all the colors of the wind. With all the colors of your wind? Ooh, what? But I know every rock and tree and mountain. Because you can own the earth and still all you'll own is earth until you can paint with all the colors of the wind. There it is. That is a very pretty song. It's a great song. I remember when they first played it for us, they had just gotten it in and we they took us all into the uh, conference room. They put it on the tape player. <coughs> and it was awesome. On the tape player. Hey, primitive. You want to hear some movies you haven't? It hit? may have been a CD. I can't remember. No, I just it probably was a tape player. It's no, just, I, I, well, it's just we funny. used to get tapes, but it may have been a CD because we got CDs back then too. Was it an eight track? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to hear a few movies you haven't hit yet of the features? Mm -hmm. You haven't hit anything from Sword in the Stone. Yeah. Hundred and One Dalmatians. Yeah. Uh, Fantasia. Fantasia. And Chloe says this is beautiful because she had requested this earlier. Oh, good. Or Thank Chloe's you. fiance. Fox and the Hound. Oliver and Company. How many drawings are we up to? This is 31. Maybe we hit 50 and then do a part two on Friday or something? Well, you do whatever you want. Uh, that's just a, I'm just throwing out an idea. How about we hit 40 <laughs> and say, yes, we'll do so more Friday, later. Friday, just keep going. How long, what time is it? We've been at it for... It's almost five. It's 4.51. You still have 1,300 people on TikTok, and I'm sure you've got... Well, another, let's keep it rolling. Then. Another 1,000 people um, on other... Yeah, we've got platforms. 500 on YouTube. We've still got 100 on Twitch. We've got, yeah, so across all the other platforms is another 1,000 probably. Yeah, let's keep it rolling. Then. Gertie from the Black Cauldron. <laughs> Oh, Gertie was a fun character. Didn't like the movie, but the, the character is cool. Why is Nala your favorite that you've designed? Uh, because I haven't, I didn't design a, a whole heck of a lot. And she, I just thought, I, I, I enjoyed animating her. And, um, and she had some nice character to her. And she's loosely based on your daughter. And she's loosely based on my daughter. She's your daughter's eyes. Yeah. She was two at the time, right? Yep. She's got Austin eyes. I don't know why I did that to him. Do, 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 because do, do, of Betty do, do, Davis. Austin eyes. Oh, yeah, Betty Davis eyes. Well, she's got Austin Blaze's eyes. <laughs> Kay says, you make me practice my drawing. Oh, good. Crack the whip. How do you expand your creativity when drawing? Uh, how do you expand your creativity when drawing? Well, you... You, um... You just draw a lot, you know, and you got to try different mediums, different styles. That's the biggest is trying different styles and mediums. Can you draw Aladdin or are we doing princesses for a while? Oh, I'm just drawing. I'm drawing princesses because I haven't done any for a little bit. We're doing Ariel, Cinderella. Cinderella, Cinderella. When someone's asking for anything from Treasure Planet. Tarzan. Jasmine, Moana. Elsa. Oh, that's a good one. No. I haven't done a Frozen. Olaf's my favorite, though, from Frozen. Why are you talking like that? I don't know, but I love Olaf. <laughs> In summer, you know, he does the summer song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chicken Little. There's our Pocahontas. Pocahontas, Pocahontas. Beautiful. Pocahontas, Pocahontas, Pocahontas. Oh, yeah, the little uh, blue in the hair adds a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I actually got to get it on her. On yeah, because her. her necklace is so muy importante. Turquoise.
All right, there's that. Beautimus, you did it. Pocahontas. Who's next? Mm, Jasmine, maybe? Jasmine. You did animate some of Jasmine. Jasmine! Yeah. You did quite a bit of Jasmine, didn't you? I mean, not tons, but you did. I did a little bit, yeah. I mean, that famous shot of her brushing her hair I and did, twirling yeah. around. Jasmine! And then we have someone on TikTok said that they're stuck here until you do Aladdin, so... I'll do him next. They're just going to be stuck here. Be stuck here. Someone said Madame Medusa from Sword in the Stone. That'd be cool. She's the, the, you know, the villain. Do you have a favorite Disney song? I'm sure I do. I can't think of it offhand. Um... And Zachary wants to know who designed the beast. Glenn Keane. Yes, that was Glenn Keane. All right, let's see if I can remember. He was to... Aaron's mentor. Yes, he was. He was amazing. Let me see if I can remember how to draw her. Here we go. Jasmine. And he already did Jafar, for those asking. So we will circle back. And he already did the beast. Oh yeah, Hades is a good one. No, KM, it's not just you. I love Olaf too. He's the sweetest little character. While Aaron's working on this drawing here, I want to let you know that today's the last day to use promo code LUCKY13. This was in celebration of Friday the 13th last week. You can use promo code LUCKY13 to get 13% off any order at CreatureArtTeacher.com. And that's 13% off of already on sale items. Yep. And it also works for the membership too. Psst, just a secret. Did you already draw the beast? Yes, we did. Who's Duchess? Is that from Aristocrats? I think I think so. Duchess is from Aristocrats. From uh, from uh, uh, oh my gosh, Lady and the Tramp, isn't oh, it? Oh yeah, yeah. Are the other people talking your children? Yes, they're my children. I'm. They're all my children. Now, one is uh, Nick Birch is my brother-in-law and business partner. And the female voice is my lovely wife, Vedanta. Female uh, voiced, voiced by Vedanta. Instagram question. Any plans for more courses? I'd love a course on birds. Well, if you want a course on birds of prey. We uh, have a 55-hour course. You're lucky. You're in luck. Yep. We have a 55-hour course on how to draw birds of prey at Creature Art Teacher, and it's 40% off right now. I kind of got carried away when I made it. Well, you wanted to do the birds of prey, and then you were like, oh, my God, there's <laughs> how many birds of prey in the world? A lot. Yeah, well, I, and I just, it's one of my favorite things to draw and paint are birds and birds of prey, specifically. Oh, Madame Mim from Sword in the Stones, who I was thinking of, not Madame Medu Madame Medusa from another movie. Madame Mim would be great. Yeah, that Erica Bay requested that. Is this Jasmine? This is Jasmine. Jasmine! When's the last time you've drawn Jasmine? This is nice. Since the movie. Oh, Father. What do you think about the shift from digital animation to pick from paper? Um, it was difficult. But I, I like it because it's um it's much more efficient. Now I miss having paper stacks and you know physical art in my hand for sure. But um but other than that Is Merida or Hercules? Is what? Merida Mer Mer Merida Pat Merida, that's from the karate kid. No. Merida <laughs> is a character. I don't remember Merida. Oh, Duchess is a Twitch comment. Duchess is the mom cat from Aristocats. Oh, okay. There you go. You were right the first time. Oh, Marita's Brave, right? Brave? Yeah, Marita is the Disney princess from Brave. 
Oh, Marita. No, it's... Yeah, her name is Marita. Mer 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 Merida. Merida. Oh, Merida. Okay, yeah. my bad. Fair well, I should have figured that out. Merida. If I pronounced it wrong. <laughs> the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. The wrong emphasis. I pronounced it Waronga. Waronga. Whoa, that went too crazy. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that's beautiful. Waronga. Waronga. Yes, it does look beautiful, Aaron. You got a lot of compliments on this jasmine. Well, I did animate her. I helped out with her animation. I just haven't drawn her in a long time. Someone says, draw Bruno Mars. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a Disney character? That's a little random. Oh, we already drew Bambi. Oops. Whoa. Pascal the chameleon from Tangled. Oh. Twitch comment. That'd be a fun one. How large of a team would design characters for a movie? I always wondered if Pocahontas and her best friend were designed by different people based on their body shapes. They were uh, designed by, by different people. Yeah, so Glenn Keane does. Oh, wait, sorry. Um, uh, Mark Henn designed Jasmine, right? Yes. I mean, her best friend would be Raja, but I'm not sure who they mean. Do they mean someone else? I th didn't he just say Pocahontas? I, oh, I, Pocahontas. I don't know why I was thinking. You're drawing Jasmine, so I had it. Blair, brain fart. Glenn Keane designed Pocahontas, so yeah. Yep. Never mind. I was mixing up my movies. Yes, he already drew Scar. And a bunch of other characters. Like five o'clock. You've been on for three hours, and this uh, this live is awesome. We've been on for yeah three hours. Three hours. Yeah. Which course is for beginners when it comes to character drawing? Uh, well, your character is any of course, them really. I mean, your character design course is about the fundamentals of character design. So yeah, it's it's I mean, for it's for beginners. These are the principles for good character design. Have we done Lady and the Tramp? Yes, we have. Yep. I don't think you've done 101 Dalmatians or Risk No, I haven't done any of them. This is a fun kind of a little exercise, isn't it? Yeah, most of these characters you haven't drawn in a long time. This is turning out to be a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Good. Actually, time's flying. Sword in the stone, sword in the stone. Oh, Raja. And Matt, uh, Matcha Max says, this live is awesome. Yeah, people are really digging this. Good. Is, is Khan from Jungle Book? Is Shere yeah, Shere Khan. Khan. Khan? Is, that yeah. A, is that a tiger or panther? Tiger. A tiger. Okay. There's a panther in it, right? Yeah, that's B uh, Bagheera. Okay. He's a black leopard. Oh, okay. A black leopard. Get it right, V. Get it right. <laughs> well, they can, you can say Black Panther, but it's specifically a black leopard. Someone was like, yeah, I'm surprised your wife doesn't know more about Disney characters. And those would be a criteria. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, in my defense, sometimes I ask questions I already know the answers to. No, I know you do. I'm, but, I'm not. Um, I just thought it was I, funny. I that, appreciate the vote of confidence, guys. <laughs> I just think it's funny that somebody decided to say that. They're shaming me. <laughs> you should just know it. <laughs> I'm a Disney encyclopedia. Here's a funny thing. Aaron doesn't know much about Disney characters. No, I do. I did my. I did my time. There are so many guys that I worked with that were just Disney encyclopedias and history buffs and everything, and that just wasn't my. Well, that uh, wasn't me. I mean, I know the movies I've watched, but I haven't. Of course, don't yeah. Have them all You're not a Disney movies. trivia buff. I don't have them all memorized. Probably. And there's a lot of Disney trivia buffs out there. You know, um, Eric Goldberg is a fountain of knowledge about. Yeah, him, he's about that history. guy's a, a nut. Ask me about. Obscure horror films. I'm <laughs> your encyclopedia. There you go. But, but I do love Disney as well. 
Oh no, he hasn't done Maleficent yet. We well, did the dragon. I did. I did Maleficent the dragon. Did yeah. dragon. Which counts? Oh, that's a great Jasmine. It is. That's really good. Well, she's done. Thank she you. do Madam Mim. Madam Mim. We're gonna do maybe Aladdin next. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah I gotta sorry. do Aladdin. Only because you're holding someone hostage on TikTok until you do it. That's right. All right. There's our jazz. Oh, I got to I got to do her. Carly Miller says she looks perfect. And Craig says I, we love your work. Thanks. All right. There's our Jasmine. Jasmine. <laughs> I always got to do her father. Okay, so Aladdin. I remember sitting in the uh, character design meeting with Jeffrey Katzenberg, and we were all having our meeting with him all together, all the character designers. And uh, him and Glenn got into a big argument about how big his nose was. Oh, really? Yeah. What was the. It was who was. Correct. Or? Jeffrey was saying that his nose looked too big, and it was like this. And he finally relented. Nick, uh, uh, um, Glenn was saying it's not too big; it looks fine. And and he just kept, and as an example, when it's funny, you'll see when executives argue to win their side, they'll just build their argument more and more and more. Got to the point where he was like basically arguing that Aladdin had a nose like an elephant. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. That's funny. I like large noses. Thanks. <laughs> so Aladdin started as a little boy, was that correct? And then they changed him, is that? No, it... but he had a mom. He was a little bit younger, I think, and he had a mom. So you're doing Aladdin, and then... Um, yeah, I really drew Aladdin a few times. Doing... I, actually, I didn't animate Aladdin, I drew Prince Ali. Are you doing any getting any requests for um, Cruella on any other? Yes, platform? I have. Yep, gotten a few of that. Sheer Khan. So I drew Prince Ali. I'm never drawn Aladdin ever. So well, I mean that counts. Well, no, Aladdin. it's it's a whole different costume, really. Well, I know, but it's That's still the difference. It's big. still the character of Aladdin. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but he's also got the big hat on thing on his head so yeah it's a totally yeah you don't have all you the hair, and everything. hair yeah, yeah. you all miss prince ali no, i want to try something different prince ali fabulous and that's all i know <laughs> genuflex shows him his back down on one knee there you go now try your best to stay calm well, she goes on his own. and i've had a couple for roger rabbit i don't know if you'll get it to him today Tinkerbell, Captain Hook. Oh, yeah, Tinkerbell. We got to do Tinkerbell, don't we? Judy Hopps. Oh, Judy Hopps is a good one. Snow White's Evil Queen for Augustus. Oh, I love Augustus, the little mouse. Yes, guys. Yes. Go, go, go. Can you tell me the name of your character drawing course? Is the $1 character design course for beginners. Yeah, it's just called character design with Aaron Blaze and yes, it's for beginners through intermediate through advanced, really. It's it's about the principles of good character design. But it's character exactly. design with Aaron Blaze. It's the name of the course. I give him a little bit stronger jaw chin, I should say. Mm, let me pull this chin out a little bit. That's what it needs. He's got 75 golden camels. Yeah, 
There we go. There we go. People are saying, Sake, thank you so much for the course. You and um, this stream is amazing. Well, one of the things the thing that's fun is funny is you know, having created that course and now going through I'm, this is a practice, an exercise I've never done before where I'm going through and drawing tens of you know other people's designs. I'm seeing all the all all the the fundamentals that I put into that course, they're doing it in these designs I'm finding, which is cool. Yeah, you normally stick to your own characters that you've designed. Yeah. But doing this exercise is so neat to watch. Oh, what course, Lauren asks? Uh, my character design course is $1. It's a 16-hour course. Uh, video course that you can download if you go to creatureartteacher.com you can stream it forever for one dollar or for an extra five dollars you can download it and keep it forever creatureartteacher.com slash learn and yes julia on tiktok i am his wife and then you've got nick birch who's um his business partner and brother-in-law nick's married to my sister so you got to the design the characters twitch question how deep does that go did they ever let animators also propose the personality and some background and work with the script writers on it not really no we we that that was done by the directors and the story team it was really us to come up with the the uh the look of the character your job as a character designer is to interpret this yeah. description of the character and bring it to life yep not the other and then the around. as the animator it's really you know, in, interpreting what the actors do. Now, there are there were certain animators that had the ability to go in and, and suggest some ideas as the characters grew, yes. Glenn had a big part in um, The Beast. He had a big part in uh, uh, Silver. Long John Silver, was it? And in, in, uh, Treasure Planet. And this is Photoshop for everybody just tuning in. So what did you decide on next? Um, I don't think we have one. Oh, okay. So either Tinkerbell or Cruella or Sarabi, maybe? Oh, yeah. Sarabi. That... <laughs> I find it funny that someone's pushing on Sarabi so much. <laughs> I think they just love... It's Is it... Um... I just think it's cool. Is it Simba's mom? Sarabi is... Uh, yeah. yeah, Simba's mom. Lots of people have requested Jim Hawkins from Treasure Planet, Phil from Hercules, Hades from Hercules. I do love Hades. Cool character. Oh, Tinkerbell. Oh, yeah. Tinker I want to go back and do a classic. I want to do Tinkerbell next. Color. You're killing me with the color. I know. Aaron the Meerkat says, <laughs> did I miss anything? <laughs> I think, I think it's going to look better when we I'm just kidding. when we lay it'll them look, all out. It'll look great. And you're up to how many characters? This is my 36th character. Wow. Whatever platform you're on, please give us a follow and hit the like button and the share button. Let's help us spread the word. And you did Coda, right? Not Kenine? Right. I did Coda. How long do you have to finish the character design course? It is unlimited access. You can access it forever. They're all go at your own pace. Yep. So there's no time limit. It's not um, It's not time-based access. You have access to it forever. And what 
what's the Friday the 13th discount code again? Lucky 13. Lucky, Lucky 13. 13. Lucky 13. There we go. There's all of them turned on. The minimum <laughs> purchase for that course is $5. That was scary. <laughs> or for the uh for that code, you have to do a minimum order of five dollars. Did you want to go through them again or wait to the end since we're close? I think you're gonna do forty, you said maybe. Well, let's or just. Don't know. Okay. Uh, who did I say? Oh, Tinkerbell. Mm -hmm. We still have almost a thousand people on TikTok, and I'm sure we've got plenty of people on all the other platforms. Mommy Heartless says so good. I wish I could draw like that. You can. You just gotta practice. Just got to practice. And Amy says, we've got to get Ariel. I think Tinkerbell. We got to get out of this place. Oh, and Cruella. If it's yeah. the last thing we're here. Yeah, I think Tinkerbell's on the list now. Bum, 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 bum. Of course, if we are going to do a part two of this, we got to save some big characters, too. And Kat says, thank you for setting me free. Oh, you are welcome. Because you did Aladdin. Now they can stop watching. They're like, and click. <laughs> and I'm... I'll never watch your account. <laughs> Unsubscribe. <laughs> Thanks for making my day. Block. Oh, Tinkerbell. And I love from Pinocchio, the, bl the blue fairy is so cool, but she's, I think she's pretty hard. And Tiana has not been done yet, no. I don't think you've been done anything from Princess and the Frog yet. No. And a couple of people asked me for Pascal. Oh, that's from Tangled, okay. The website is creatureartteacher.com. And the link is right in the bio here on TikTok. And on the other platforms, I think you've got link trees up too, right? Absolutely, yep. There's the one scene where she is looking at herself on the mirror. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we've got the cutest little shoes, the little puff balls. Yeah. Cute. Hannah um, on TikTok says, this is amazing, could watch this all day. Oh, well, thank you. I'm trying to paint Beast. Is there an easy way to draw him? No, <laughs> there's not. But you Beast start is hard with, to draw. But his face starts with a triangle. Yeah, start with that triangle, and then you add those. And he did draw Beast on this live, which is going to be available later on YouTube. Yep. YouTube dot com slash Aaron Blaze Art. So you can rewatch it um, on how he drew him there. Have you ever used ZBrush? No, I've never done any real digital work before. But you've got a course on ZBrush from we Tony do Cipriano. from Tony Cipriano created a really great one. And I am the tornado. On TikTok says, yeah, he did an amazing beast earlier. Oh, here comes Lula. Here comes... There she is. You can hear her little feet. <laughs> Night on Bald Mountain. Night on Bald Mountain. Turn him <laughs> on. And he is drawing Disney characters to um, commemorate the 100 years of the Walt Disney Company. I think the anniversary is today. Today. It is, yep. I worked for Disney for 21 years, and um, it was a wonderful experience. Aaron worked on Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, Mulan, Pocahontas, Rescuers Down Under. He did a couple of Roger Rabbit shorts. He directed a, a goofy short called How to, Haunt His, How to Haunt a House, and he also directed Disney's Brother Bear. <clears throat> How do you get into Disney as an animator? I love drawing, and if I could do that as a job, I'd love it. Twitch well, I, I went to college to be an illustrator, and while I was at college, Disney came to my school recruiting. And so I put together a portfolio uh, because they were recruiting for a training program to see if they could teach 
people that knew how to draw, teach them how to animate. And so I got into it. I uh, was accepted and was trained uh, to be an animator by Disney, by Glenn Keane himself. How many drawings have you done so far? I think I'm on 35 or 36. Oh, really? For some reason, I thought it was 39, but I must yeah, be. No, because I, I did some multiple layers and then combined the layers and it added, it added drawings. Oh, gotcha. But still, 36 drawings. We've got Tinkerbell. He started out much more scribbly. Have you drawn any of the Duck family? Yes, we did a Donald earlier. Donald Duck. Yeah, he's done some classic Disney characters. He even did a 3D um, McQueen, Alexander McQueen, and Nemo in his 2D drawing style. Um, and this is... A Photoshop you're drawing today, not animating, right? Right. And this is a Wacom Cintiq Pro 32. And El Dorado was not Disney, right? Correct. Right. Yeah, I've got a couple people asking. And just Disney today? Yep, just Disney today. That's my first request for Flounder. Oh, Flounder. I haven't had a request for Flounder. Well, the, the animator for Flounder... Barry Temple, he lives right here in town. Oh, really? Yeah. But not to met him. And Brazan, I, I see your request for Flounder. We see it. Oh, Barry Temple? The yeah. one that, the art show? Mariana? Yeah, no, he came over to Mariana and Darko's house. We had dinner. He was there. Oh. Okay. Someone asked, which of your courses offer certificates? We do offer certificates now. Someone said they don't offer certificates, but we do now. We actually now have certificates of completion in character design and in animation, uh, but they're not single courses. You have to complete a whole series of courses to, to get certification. I'll post a link in the comments. DreamWorks is not owned by Disney, right? No, DreamWorks is owned by... Jeffrey, well, it was Jeffrey Katzenberg, it's owned by David Geffen, and uh, Steven Spielberg. Right. They're owned by Comcast now. So yeah. Pixar is owned by Disney now, but not DreamWorks. Yeah. I just, there was some confusion about the El Dorado. And he already do, um, drew Wally for a couple of people asking. Winnie the Pooh? He hasn't done Winnie the Pooh today. He did oh, where is Wally? Oh, yeah, Tigger. Where's, oh, that was the wrong one. The wonderful thing about Tigger. Tigger's a wonderful thing. There he is. There's Wall. Oh, there's uh, Wally. There's Wally right there. For those of you that Wally. were wondering about Wally. Yeah, you were just going to do sketches, but you're putting color in a lot of them, which I, I love that you're doing the color. What did you think of the remake version of Flounder? Uh, it, the, yeah, he was a uh, uh, Flounder. Right? Yeah. What's that? Was it? A, but it wasn't really a flounder. No, he right? wasn't a flounder. He was yeah. a porgy. It's yeah. a fish called a porgy. And actually, the the reef that I used to live on, where I lived on the beach, was full of porgies. That's the only reason I knew it was a porgy. And Sebastian looked like a real crab. Yeah. I kind of like the cartoon version. I like I like them when they caricature him more. Yeah, I mean, the real animals, I get they want to be realistic, like in the, the Lion King live action. Yeah. But when they're caricatured, it's, I don't know, I think it's cuter. Well, they can emote more. We need Ariel, says Amy. We hear you. And I think he's probably going to go over the drawings that he's done already um, in a little while, and we'll see how many he's got. I think like 36 at this point. Everybody that's been asking for Tinkerbell all day. Did you yeah. did you ever meet Harold Sieperman? Harold Sieperman worked on Brother Bear. I hired Harold Harold Sieperman to work do work with us. Harold was an amazing guy, super talented, wonderful wonderful to work with. Um, he was just a, he was just a, such a great guy. I was very sad when he passed away. When we were in Austria having lunch with 
uh, Florian. Is that who you were talking about? Yes. What's the brush you're using to color with right now? This is my uh, pastel C brush. It's actually the brush you've been using for everything, the line work and the coloring. Yep. You just make it bigger and smaller? Yep. And you can get this brush at creatureartteacher.com for free if you sign up for our newsletter or if you want to buy it in a set along with a bunch of other brushes. It's in Aaron Blaze's brush set number one on our website. And this is Photoshop um, in these brushes uh, that he sells that we sell on Creature Art Teacher. Uh, those that work in Procreate and Photoshop, right? Yes. What was it like working with Joaquin Phoenix? Joaquin was really cool. Um, uh, to be honest with you, I was a little bit starstruck, but he was really easy to get the ice broken, and um, you know he was a pro, so uh, I enjoyed working with him. So there's there's Tink. I think that one came out okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's Tinkerbell. All right. Who are we doing next? Do oh, eight. what was it? Sa Sabira or? Oh, uh, uh, What's her name? No, Ariel. Wasn't it Ariel that they wanted? Oh, Ariel. And then Cruella. Got a lot for Cruella. Okay. You know, I've got some rough animation of Ariel lifting her toes up and looking at her toes. Oh, do you really? Did you know where that is? Yep. They're, uh, no, I have to pull them out a different time. But yeah, there were, there were throwaway drawings from when Mark Hen was animating her. We'll have to. We did uh, Robin time. Hood earlier, Walter. Walter on YouTube asked for Robin Hood. Someone says Batman. <laughs> I did Robin Hood. No, I know. I said that. Oh, said. gotcha. But then someone said Batman. Batman. Batman's not a Disney character. <laughs> Which one Disney today? Definitely gotten several requests for Jim from Treasure Planet. Or morph, right? Yeah, Jim with morph, as I've seen a lot of people say that. See if I can do this one a little bit looser. Sebastian. Because I've always loved this pose. Oops, come on. Olivia from Great Mouse Detective. Got quite a few for Isma. So you're doing Ariel? I am. Wonderful. Here, get ready for Ariel for everyone uh, that's been asking for Ariel. That's out of my range. <laughs> There you go. Oh. Right. Do you remember a couple years ago there was a kid on YouTube that went viral, a guy, and he was singing all the... Yeah, he was doing the male and female parts. Yeah, he, he went to Ringling. Oh, did he really? Yeah, he was a student at Ringling. Keep singing! Or for Aaron, keep drawing! Keep drawing, monkey! Draw, draw. Um, he did stitch already, and he's done Simba. I think after Ariel, maybe go through the drawings. Uh, it's been a while. Been a while. Oh, here comes the buggy with her young Nala toy that <laughs> she's obsessed with. <laughs> Yes, Cruella Deville. I'm on. I'm on board. Hmm. They want to see TikTok wants to see Lilu. Hold on. <laughs> She's our little Chewbacca. Here, I'll hold her down here. Here she is. Here's little Lilu. Hey, Lilu. 
She really won't let anyone touch her. We're in the wrong layer. What are we at here? Something's weird here. You might have hit a button. Oh, the opacity got oh, knocked down. It's because the yeah. a freaky little dog. The dog. And he is using a pastel C brush from his number one Aaron Glaze uh, digital brush pack at creatureartteacher.com if you're interested in that. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Yes, this is Ariel that he's doing. We've still got over 900 people on TikTok. I think we're still thriving on YouTube as well. Yep, Sheer Khan. Yeah, we're over 450 people on YouTube still. Is that Laura Croft? Yeah, this is Laura Croft. <laughs> you know that Disney character, Laura Croft? <laughs> so I got her roughed in. This is how I how we usually set things up. I'm thinking simple shapes. Ooh, what about a portrait of Walt Disney? Ooh, a portrait of Walt himself. Actually kind of a cool idea. Buzz Lightyear would be cool. Or the little known Alexander Disney. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Baby Yoda technically qualifies, someone says. Was his third cousin twice removed. And Brandon Jones is still hanging in here. We're waiting for Sarabi. Sarabi. <laughs> because they're a diehard fan. Tug from Brother Bear. We appreciate that. Aristocats. Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, and um, Cruella is getting, has got quite a few fans. The original Cruella design, I think, is just impeccable. She is. Crush. Whoa. Aaron drew Crush when we were at Animal Kingdom. I crushed it. You crushed it. You gotta ride that intercoastal. <laughs> did you do anything from Monsters Inc. yet? No. Yes, he already did Bolt. Um, he hasn't done anything from Emperor's New Groove quite yet. Which tablet is this? This is a Wacom Cintiq Pro 32 or 32 Pro. Pen display. Pen display, yes. So you have to have a computer to hook up to it. And he's working in Photoshop. And yes, he already did Pocahontas. Um, I think after this one, I'll go through and show everybody kind of what we've what He's we've done, done Pocahontas. So he's done Jasmine. He's done Mushu. He's done Beast. We've been at it for a few hours now. Yep. Aladdin, Tinkerbell, Mickey Mouse, uh, Donald Duck, Goofy, Max, Pluto. It's actually five thirty already. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm like, okay. Because we because we started later than our normal streams. I was like, wait a second, it's five thirty. But... Is Photoshop an industry standard program? Yes. Yep. Any Kingdom Hearts drawings? No, we're sticking to the. Is we're that sticking. Like a show? No, Kingdom Hearts is a video game series, oh, okay. but it's a Disney collaboration. The Disney characters are in it. Are you using reference for some of these characters? Yes, I can't remember how to draw all these characters. Many of them I've never drawn before, so I'm just I'm using my character design knowledge, which I teach in my character design course for one dollar i'm using all of that and, and i that's how i approach these drawings so if you go to creatureartteacher.com slash uh, learn you can access our character my character design course which is 20 hours and 23 videos 
It's for one dollar. Sixteen hours and twenty videos. But yeah. Oh, what did I say? Twenty hours? Yeah. Yeah, that's not what I meant. That's but not anyway, what I meant, Nick. I know what you meant. Still sixteen hours is a lot of hours. Yeah, sixteen hours and twenty three videos. That's creatureartteacher.com slash learn. And that is lifetime streaming access for a dollar. And for five dollars more, you can add lifetime downloads to that. What's the best animation um, app or program that, that you know of? That well, I, for, for using it for something like this on a big tablet, I really love TV paint. Um, but for iPad, uh, Procreate is coming out with a new animation software called Dreams. On November 22nd. November 22nd, yes. And it's going to be a big game changer. It's really great. What's great about it is it's only $20 in a one-time purchase. Yeah. So how about we do one more after this character? Oh, wait a minute. We got to do Sarabi, don't we? Yes. And we. <laughs> all right, we'll keep going. And then you'll go through all the characters? Yeah. How many are you up to? Uh, we're up to 38, I think. Oh, wait a minute. No, I've just got extra layers. Um, I got to count them up. I think we're up to 37 or 38. So you got close to 100 in 100 minutes. <laughs> so the person that requested Sarabi um, over and over for the last three hours, are you still on TikTok? Yes. I'm just going to ask if they're still there. And he's Brandon. Hello, Brandon. Because I know Brandon. You've, you've been sticking with us. If they respond, I'll see that they're still here. Yes, Brandon Jones. Hey, right, Brandon Jones. You're going to get your requests. The I squeaky agree. wheel gets the grease, baby. Save your persistence. See, I ignore the people who spam. <laughs> hey, no, he didn't spam. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, he was, he was like, um, maybe a couple times an hour. He's just been sticking with us. We appreciate that. Can't wait for Cruella. If he gets to that today. Um, are you going to, you said you might continue this on Friday at one? Maybe. Yeah. Depending? Okay. These are fun. And I think people appreciate them. Yeah. I think so. so it's birthday think... week, right? Yeah. Yeah. Disney birthday week. This year is also the 20th anniversary of Brother Bear. Aaron's film. We've got some stuff planned for that coming up. Some some specials we're working on. Some uh, special videos. I can't believe it's been that long. Maybe go through all your drawings after this, and then do um, Sarabi. Sounds great. Awesome. Yes, we still have over nine hundred people here on TikTok. Hey, TikTokers. And I, I think last I looked on YouTube, it was over 400 people still. Yep. So we've got a really great crowd today. There she is. Part of your squirrel. Yeah, almost 500 on YouTube. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? <laughs> Be sure to hit that like button and that share button and those subscribe buttons and all of the buttons. And button the, buttons. The link for the lessons are right here um, on TikTok. There's a link tree in the bio, and um, it'll take you all, to all the sales and everything that's going on. A bunch of great links. But it's creatureartteacher.com. Creatureartteacher.com. Part of your squirrel. Jenna go. says, What? I didn't realize Brother Bear was that old. Yep. Yep. And Arthur on TikTok says, thank you for Brother Bear. It morphed me into who I am today. Please let him know he's my hero. Oh, thank you. How long have you been drawing? About three hours. All my life. <laughs> been drawing 52, 53 years. Uh, coincidentally, it's the 40th anniversary of Wacom. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Wow. 40th anniversary of Wacom, 100th anniversary of Disney. I've only got 35. I don't have... Only? all. Oh. Yeah. But I think um, he's going to go through them now, kind of okay. show you what he's done. Yeah, so let's start at the bottom. Not too quickly. You can see we started uh, We started with Mickey, and you can see we started very loose. We have tightened up as we've gone. So there's Mickey. There's Mufasa. 
There's Nala. Simba. Pluto. Stitch. Snow White. Peter Pan. Donald Duck. Goofy. The Beast. Lady. McQueen. Bring this down. Robin Hood. And this live Tramp. will be reposted on YouTube. There's Nemo. My head in the way. Your hat a little bit. There's Raja. Scar. And Jafar. Yao. Maleficent. Max. Remy. Bolt. Dumbo. I forgot about Dumbo. I forgot. I, I yeah. like drawing. I like drawing Dumbo. I remember. <laughs> Baloo. Wally. Bambi. Mushu. E. <laughs> uh, uh, Coda. Pocahontas. Jasmine. Aladdin. Uh, Tinkerbell. And Belle. I mean, Bell. Ariel. There we are. Wow. All right. 35? 35. Sarabi? Yes. Mm -hmm. Definitely have to look reference up for that one. Yep. You want to go Not to... a very well-known character, I don't think. Go to 40 and then call it? Sure. If you got that in you, obviously. I do. If you do Cruella. Just and if you don't, that's fine, too. Cruella de Vil. Cruella de Vil. Something random from Sophie on TikTok says, tomorrow is the setting of when Tony Stark dies in Endgame of Avengers. Is the date maybe in the movie? Am I just reading this wrong? I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused. Yes, Sarabi next. That's what he's doing. He's very similar. What's your favorite character, Aaron? This all, favorite of character? Of all Disney characters. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I love the Beast. I love Bambi, as we all know. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I think my favorite character, just because of the drama, is Chernabog. Just ever since I was a kid, he, that character has always fascinated me from Fantasia. I got to show you that drawing. I've seen it. You showed me. I did show you that. Yeah, I showed you a picture of it. I haven't shown you the actual original. I, I thought it was over your house and you showed me. Maybe. You... Oh, maybe I did. Maybe I did. This is Sarabi. Simba's mom from the Lion King. Unrelated question, but was the Tarzan movie the reason you ended up with uh, Phil Collins and Mark Mancina in for your first movie? Yes, because they were very successful. That's funny. We got that question yesterday. They um they were very successful, and Phil had, had just won an Oscar. And so I actually, not that I didn't want to work with Phil, I just, when I was thinking about who I wanted to work with, I actually went to the studio and asked if I could, if we could approach Peter Gabriel, because I wanted to get him on board. And, um, and they said, you know what? How about Phil? And, uh, and they said it in a way that I was going to take Phil. So I got Phil. And it turned out to be great. We had a really great experience. I really enjoyed working with Phil Collins. We worked together for four years. And uh, he's super collaborative and just great. Ger Gerald says we named our dog Coda because of Brother Bear. Really? <coughs> All right. 
So if this is 36, we've got just a few more to go today. Olivia Flaversham. From I love that name. That's that's the request, the character, the the mouse with the beret from Great Mouse. Detective. Oh, Olivia Flabbersham. Okay, I was going to say that's a great name. It is. I forgot about her. That's from the Mouse Avenger, who has been patiently waiting on YouTube. <laughs> I swear I can hear Bluey says Moose. Yep, you can. My son is watching it in the background. <laughs> Holy cow! That's. That's good ears. I can't even really Are good that. mics. Yeah. Maybe I should shut that door. Um, we get demonetized because the music from Bluey is playing in the background three rooms over. Yeah. <laughs> Rivers loves Bluey. Yep. Definitely Cruella or Hades next. Maybe. Yeah, that sounds great. Not Olivia Flavishan? Olivia Flabbersham. Sure. I got to get Olivia Flabbersham. Yeah. That's, that's a great name. Flabbersham. So this is Sarabi? Yes. Simba's mom. This one I think will just, I don't have to redraw it. We'll just shore up some of the line work in here. For Brother Bear, did you have to go to any obscure locations for research like other Disney animators did? Oh, yeah. We went to... One of the most obscure places we went to was the Valley of 10,000 Smokes. I was in Katmai National Park. You can only get there by airplane in Alaska. And it's a volcanic area. And uh, we did a bunch of research for kind of the, the, the hot springs and the volcanic area of our movie. And Brandon Jones, of Texas, thank you so much. We're doing Sarabi. Hey, you're welcome, Brandon Jones. Thank you. I like drawing Sarabi. She's a well-designed, she's a well-designed cat. She's a great cat. This is uh, why can't I remember his name? He did, he did uh, the dog from the Little Mer from uh, Ariel, uh, from the, the Little Mermaid. The oh, that's a great Max. Character, the big ship. Sh yeah, the sheep the dog. dog. Harry, yeah. yeah, same character, same guy that did. It's uh, what's his name? Why am I drawing a blank? We work together. The Max from the Sheepdog is in uh, Ariel. Is yeah. in Once Upon a. Spirit. Yeah, he's yeah. He goes, Eric, get your dog. <laughs> I love that. Get your dog. Is there a backstory in Brother Bear for what happened to Kenai Danahi and Sitka's parents? Uh no. No, sorry, Bear. No, there's not. We um, we talked about it at one time, but we really didn't agree to anything, and we felt like just not bringing it up uh, was probably the best thing. It 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 went down a different. It 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 drew away from the main story in a way that we didn't need to. But the original iteration was. The about the father, right? Yeah, the original iteration was the father and Kenai. There wasn't three, there wasn't other brothers. And the mother was gone. But then you've got Tanana, who's the, the uh, medicine woman. Yes. So she kind of takes the parental role. Yeah, she's the tribal mother. Did you work on Brother Bear 2? No. Did not. And Amy says, thank you so much for drawing Max from um, the Goofy movie and Ariel. I appreciate it so, so much. Heart, heart. Oh, thank you. And what um, what drawing uh, pen display are you using? This is a Wacom Cintiq 32 Pro. So it's a big one. David asks, Aaron, is it bad to use a lot of searching for lines while drawing? I seem to do that a lot. No, I mean, that that's... That's a natural kind of progression to ultimately having a more confident line. Just, you know, just over time, you'll get better and better at having more confidence in your line. That's a great Sarabi. All right, there's Sarabi. Yay. I vote for Cruella next. Cruella. The bill. From the original 101? 
Yes. How many characters do we have left to go? How many? Yeah. I think that was 36. So four more. What if we do Corella? 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So what if we yeah. do Corella, Olivia, Flavisham, Chernabog, and you pick one more? All right. So who am I doing? Corella or, or, or Olivia Charbel Sam? Whichever you prefer to do first. You want to do a mouse? Or you want to do a mean old lady? Cruella de Vil. That's right. Look at her nose. She's horrible. <laughs> Ooh, she's wickedly good. I love how they turn the villains into the heroes in the new movies, though. Like Maleficent and Cruella. Yeah. They show the different, the other side of it, of the story. Her design is so good. Mm -hmm. You know who did her design? Don't know. Seems like maybe Milt Paul, right? Didn't he animate her? Yeah, he did. He did a lot of. Uh, I think he did Roger. Mark Davis. Even Mark Davis, yeah. That sounds right. See, that's the thing. I just don't know my my Disney trivia when it comes to who did what. Unless you worked on the films with them. Yeah. Right? And you are an encyclopedia. She kind of has an Yzma vibe. Yeah. Yeah, Mark Davis is what it says. Yes, he did Stitch already. He hasn't done Hades. <clears throat> no. But we'll come back and do more of these. Madam Mim. I like doing the uh, I like doing the requests. Yeah. Rather than coming up, I, I, I spent so much time trying to come up with a hundred characters, but the, doing the requests has really turned out to be a lot of fun. Yes, I'm excited about this one. Cruella Deville. So right here, what I'm trying to do is I'm looking at proportions, trying to anticipate. And think about the, the, portion, the proportions that Mark Davis would have thought about in doing something like this. He did do Mushu already. Yes, I did. And Scooby-Doo is Warner Brothers, I believe. Hanna-Barbera. One cool thing about Mark Davis is he also went on to be Aside from being an amazing animator, went on to be an amazing Imagineer. Yes. He designed the Haunted Mansion. Yes, he did. We are doing a marathon of Disney characters for the 100th um, year anniversary of the Walt Disney Company. And no, he didn't do Pooh today either. But nope. we've still got three more characters after this. Oh, this is a marathon. You've been going since one? Two. Two, two. o'clock. Okay, we two. started at two. two. It's almost six, so that's almost four hours. Doesn't feel that long, though. No, it's been great. I don't know how Aaron's arm is. But... Oh, my arm's fine. <laughs> doesn't feel an hour. It doesn't feel much over three hours and 45 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't feel a minute over. So this one I will redraw a little bit because it's a little messy. There we go. There we go. And he did do Bolt. Yeah, we did a Bolt. Tigger. Oh, Tigger would be a good one. Tigger. <laughs> Alexia on YouTube says, this stream's been really invigorating to watch. Oh, Wait. good. Well, when you do part two, you need to do Jessica Rabbit and Roger. Yeah, and they want Jack Skellington, too. Yeah. It's just there's so many characters. There's a million characters. That's what I love. You just go on and on for days. Cusco. Oh, Do you I know who that designed that. Sabor from Tarzan? I don't know. I don't know who animated Sabor either. I I um 
I really like the animation, although Sabor to me feels more like a cheetah instead of a leopard, but he's supposed to be a leopard. He's got kind of the look of a cheetah. Yeah, we've had a couple um, requests for Pongo, yeah, the Dalmatian. But I think, I think we've already got the next couple drawings set, right? Hades, I think you're going to do uh, Miss Fla Flabersham. Olivia Flabersham the ch and the Chernabog. The Chernabog. I don't think we said Hades, but we can. Oh, okay. No, if, if Aaron wants to. I'll draw whatever. Point and shoot. Okay. You, you must have Walt, Walt because it's 100 years of Disney, right? Well, yes. Maybe we'll save Walt for part two. Great, Cruella. Nancy Bowen says, Cruella looks amazing. Well, thank you. Just getting her tied down in here. Is there a link from where you have, um, to where you can get the pen display? Let's go to Wacom.com. W-A-C-O-M. Yep, Wacom, W-A-C-O-M.com. And you'll see all kinds of choices there. And if you're interested in seeing more videos from Aaron, be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe buttons on your various platforms. And please help us sh hit those share buttons and spread the word. We've been going almost four hours today. And if you're really interested about art and art education, be sure to check out Aaron's website, creatureartteacher.com. We have over 700 hours of art lessons uh, covering animation, traditional drawing, digital drawing, storyboarding, uh, pitching, uh, writing, all kinds of stuff, sculpting. Uh, we've got, in addition to Aaron, who's an Academy Award nominated uh, feature film director, we've also got Emmy Award winner David Coleman. We've got uh, world-class visual development artist Armand, Armand Serrano. We've got director Tim Hodge. We've got tons and tons of great teachers and animators across all sorts of industries. So be sure to check out creatureartteacher.com. One of the things that I was really in, uh, motivated to do was I know when I went to college, I had a lot of instructors that really just didn't participate in the industry that they were teaching in anymore. And so that really inspired me to want to pull instructors that aren't just working in the industry, but are some of the top in their field. And so that's why we pull from top companies like Disney and Pixar and a lot of the other ones, uh, you know, but people are act actively creating work and, um, and they're teaching on our website. What do you think of James Baxter? I think he's one of the best animators in the world. Period. Hands down. He's amazing. Yeah, I saw his name in the credits for Once Upon a Studio that we watched today. Yeah, they would have been crazy not to have him in there and also once again i just want to plug you know if you're interested in character design all we've been doing here is drawing disney characters 100 years of disney characters and uh aaron is a disney character designer i am a disney character designer and so if you're interested in learning how to design characters then go to creatureartteacher.com and we've got our my character design course which is a 16-hour, 23-video course. You can uh, you can get endless uh, down or uh, uh, streaming of it for one dollar, or for five dollars more, you can download it and keep it forever. So basically, six dollars you can have that course forever. Or you can stream it. And forever. yeah, yeah or you can stream it forever. And I just want to reiterate, I, it's really everything that I've ever, everything that I've learned at Disney over the last 35 years or the 21 years that I was there, uh, I put it all into the course. It's almost the same blue on her eyes and, and um, earring and stuff as um, Pocahontas's necklace. Dave it Clayton is. says hello. Hello, Dave Clayton. That's our good mate from um, good old jolly old England. Yes. YouTube comment. Uh, tell Aaron that the scene from Brother Bear when Kenai tells Coda that he killed his mother always touches me. Well, I actually wrote that scene and storyboarded it. 
And Terry says, where can I get this course you're talking about? The character design course. You go to creatureartteacher.com slash learn. You can get it right there. Well, we have quite a few people watching from England here on TikTok. Oh, right on. Wow, it's late for you guys. Yes. Late in the evening? And Dave, what are you doing up? He might be in Vegas still. Oh, that's right. Is, is uh, Adobe Max? Is Adobe Max still going on? I, I don't know, actually. One day. Weird. Weird, Dave. Hey, Dave, that's weird. That's weird. Oh, 11 oh no, it was October 10th through 12th. It's so 11 p.m. in England. He's probably back. 11 oh, it's, p.m. is not that Oh, long. it's only 11. Oh, okay. Will you ever work with Disney again in the future? Uh, if the opportunity arose, I would, sure. I would never say no. Amazing. There she is. There's our Cruella DeVille. Cruella DeVille. Oh, if she doesn't scare you, no evil thing will. <laughs> Olivia oh, Flabbersham. Yes, yeah, Olivia Flabbersham. From the rescuers down under or the rescuers? Oh, she's from a uh, great mouse detective. Great mouse oh. detective. Duh. I really don't know anything. Olivia. No, I would have guessed. I don't know. <laughs> Flabbersham. Have you ever seen The Rescuers Down Under? I've seen Rescuers Down Under, but I've never seen Great Mouse Detective. So she's a know. she's a great little character. I've heard that. I've, she's I've, super cute. This I came can, out when I was in high school. I can feel a thousand people on My, the internet going, "What? You've uh, never seen it?" Yeah, I know. I don't think a lot of kids nowadays have seen. I feel I feel like The Great Mouse Detective. The Rescuers Down Under for sure, but um, maybe not. Yeah, The Mouse Detective. Mouse yeah, Detective think, was actually the one that's a lot of people always think it's Mermaid, but Mouse Detective was actually the one that started turning things around, right? Because it it was a box, it was a hit. Right? It was, yeah, it was the first one that was kind of a hit, and then uh, and then Oliver and Company did really well as well. And then uh, Mermaid was the one that blew the and then off. Mermaid, yeah, just kicked butt. Are you a fan of Adventure Time, Aaron? What's Adventure Time? Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a kids show. No, it's, a, it's, it's not. It is, but it's not. Um, it's I don't know. It's is it's it for adults too? Is it animation? Yeah, it was. It was on Cartoon Network. James Baxter did a bunch of animation on it. There's actually a horse named James Baxter in the show. Oh, really? That's why people always <laughs> ask about about it. What movie did you wish you animated on? Uh, um, Zootopia. Wonderful. Well, we're still almost 900 people on TikTok. Man, you've been, it's 6.02. So you've been going for uh, four hours and two minutes. Wow. If I can add, right? This is a long live. We haven't done a live this long in a while. I don't know if we've ever done a live, live this long. Uh, we've gone, we've gone over four hours before. Have we? It's rare, but it's been a long time. Been a while. Never gets old, does it? I'll have to look. I think our record is we once went almost five. Dale says this man is a machine. It's. It's he's AI, baby. Yeah. Aaron intelligence. Aaron intelligence. Except he can draw hands. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> See, I'm better than AI. AI really does not understand hands or the concept. He's tireless, says Nancy Bowen. Oh, I said, or teeth. I guess teeth are hard too, you know? Yeah. People always, because they want to put every single tooth in. Oh, they give them like a hundred teeth. Yeah, and it's like you just need. That's right. Um, yeah. Teeth and pain. Good morning from the Philippines. Hey, good morning, Philippines. How 
How did you animate a character when you had to interact with other characters drawn by someone else? The the dominant character always starts first. And then you block out the other character. You just kind of indicate where they're supposed to be. But the dominant character always stop, starts first. And then you hand it off. Pam from TikTok says, is that Olivia Flavisham from the Great Mouse Detective? <laughs> Sure well, is. I'm obviously drawing her, right? Aren't I? And Chrissy says AI could never replace talent like Aaron. Oh, thank you. Got people from all over the world, Germany, Australia. We appreciate everyone that's tuning in. Thanks, you guys. Oh, and Jamie says, I just purchased the course. Ah, good. We hope you enjoy it. Everybody that's been taking advantage of that $1 character design course. And if you haven't yet, get in on it soon because it's not going to last forever. And uh, we hope that this gives you a great taste of our courses and you come back and get some more. And the mouse detective's name was Basil. Right? Yes, Basil of Baker Street. He was, like, he was like Sherlock Holmes, right? Yeah. Facebook question. When did you last see Ollie Johnson? Uh, I saw him probably about two or three months before he passed away. We actually had lunch together. Abby on TikTok says, okay, I'm going to go buy the course now. And Amy says, I will be purchasing the course later today. I feel like it will be a game changer for my art career. Creatureartteacher.com slash learn will take you straight to the $1 course. Want to let uh, Erica says, I think five hours was your record, Aaron. There was a lot of one more things in that stream. <laughs> Just one more thing. Just like so. I believe this is 38, maybe, that he's on. Uh, this would be 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So no, yeah, just yeah. <laughs> um, All right, I don't know that you have the last two already in mind. So maybe, should we do a poll maybe? Or I don't know, can you do polls on the other platform? I can, we talked about Chernabog is one oh, of them. Okay. Oh yeah, Chernabog. And then really the last one's up for grabs, I think. Um, Hades, Isma, Tiana. Should I do a little poll on TikTok? Sure. What are the choices? Um, whatever you w want me to put on there. Do Hades, Tigger. One second. What about you, Aaron? Any... For final, we'll do this for the final character. Who? Pooh Bear. This will be the last one for today. Roger Rabbit. Oh, yeah. Roger Rabbit's a good one. Oh, and, ja and Jack Skellington. Roger. Okay, so I've got Pooh, Roger, Jack. I'm just going to do the first names. And one more option, maybe. Did you get Tigger in there? No, I'll do Tigger. Okay. That's with two Gs? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So Pooh, Roger, Jack, and Tigger. I'm going to start that poll on TikTok. And then we can have everybody else weigh in from YouTube and yep. all the other platforms. And that poll runs for about five minutes, so that should give every time this drops. Miss Flavisham. From the Mouse Detective. You got this super cute little. I don't. I guess it's Scottish. Little Scottish accent. Yeah, oh, sure. Claudia is texting Isma. Oh yeah, I forgot to put Isma. <laughs> I added the the same poll on YouTube. Oh okay, so. cool. Who Roger Jack or Tigger? Right now, Jack's forty four percent. Oh really? I figured it was going to be Jack. Jack Skellington. Tigger yeah. went in on YouTube right now. Oh okay. Uh, 
Yeah, so you were going to do the Chernabog, whatever that is. The devil from the mountain and Fantasia. Oh, okay. I don't know, unpopular, but I could never get through Fantasia. Maybe because there's no dialogue? No, I mean, it's, it's definitely a, uh, you know, when I was a kid, I didn't like it either. It was just a lot of. Some you know symphony it's classical playing. music. I mean, you have yeah. to, you know. Maybe when I grow as a up. kid, Rivers surprisingly likes it. I always, I, he seems to be really into music. He's he's had me put it on a few times, but he likes to sit through and watch the Yellow Submarine. He's watched that like twenty times. That's crazy. That's funny to me. Yeah, me too. So we've got the poll going on TikTok, and it is a a hardline Jack skeleton. But uh, who's winning on YouTube? Uh, Tigger's in first, Jack's in second on YouTube right now. Roger third, and Pooh is in last right now. And obviously, who we don't get to today, if we do a part two of this, which I'm thinking we probably will. Yeah. On the Friday live at 1 p.m. Friday, you're just going to have to do 60 characters so we can get to a heron. Yeah. <laughs> and somehow do it in three hours. Right. So twice the number of characters in half the time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe just do Jack and Tigger. <laughs> Together. Two logical characters. Yeah. He went through the wrong door. Into Winnie the Pooh land. The, the uh, Sherwood Forest or no? What's the Winnie the Pooh Forest? Uh, 100 Acre, Acre Woods. Wood. The 100 Acre Woods. Jack got lost. Count all the bees in the hive. Yeah, TikTok definitely, it, Jack Skellington is number one. I'm going to end that poll. Thank you for your input, everybody. Yeah, Tigger's solidly number one in oh, the YouTube. Okay. I'm surprised. Surprise, it's, I mean, it's a 10% difference between the two. I mean, I love Tigger, don't be wrong. But I would have thought, I, if I was a betting man, I would have bet Jack. The Pumpkin King. Jack's okay. easy. It's basically a stick figure. Yeah. With a round head. <laughs> Although he's got lots of stripes on his outfit. Um, Nikki says, just purchased the course. Yay. Thank you, Nikki. Appreciate that. For those of you just joining us, we have a $1 character design course over at creatureartteacher.com slash learn. You can learn uh, Aaron's approach designing to designing characters. It's over 16 hours long. It includes over 20 videos plus bonus materials. And Aaron is a Disney director and character designer. So you're learning from a person that's designed actual Disney characters. That's right. For animated feature films and directed animated feature films. Oh, what a little sweetheart she is. Yeah. Aww. She was actually kind of fun to draw. She this looks is... such a cutie pants. I, I don't think I've ever heard of her. I, I mean, wouldn't have known yeah, she's name. super cute in the movie. Yeah, they went through a little mouse phase there for a bit, didn't they? With, yeah. Between rescuers and oh. yeah. mouse detective and then rescuers Perfect. down under. Perfect. All right, so there she is. So now you have to decide between um, Tigger and Jack. Well, you, you got Chernabog for. Oh yeah, Chernabog. Oh my gosh. Only because that's your favorite character, right? Yeah. And, um, Trash Kitty says, "Thank you for my childhood, Aaron." Oh, my pleasure. I was going to make a joke, but I'm like, Yeah, is there something you want to tell me? I'm just kidding. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, thank you for my childhood. Like, thank you that I'm alive. Oh. <laughs> you know? yeah, that's what I was like. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dustin's here, and he says thank you for my childhood. You know? <laughs> so there you go. Well, that is his son. Okay. I want to try something a little different with this one. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, they had this in the, the Once Upon a Studio today. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know what that thing was. Chernabog. Chernabog. Night on Ball Mountain. I'm going to try something a little different here. Bill Tightly. It's like a Disney uh, course today. I'm learning a lot. 
Flamemaker says, I just purchased your course. Can't wait to start. Watch this. We're going a little different. Oh. Okay. Oh. You're going to start off. Are you going to do it like scratch board? I'm just going to, I'm just going to paint his highlights. Oh. Wah, 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 wah. I was going to try to do night on Bob Martin, but the tune wasn't coming to me. I don't know how well it's going to come out, but we're going to give it a shot. Just waiting with bated breath. If you're enjoying this stream, please hit that like button and share button and those hearts. Help us spread the word. Um, Simo says, I, I brought your art book back when it came out. Best purchase. You've actually got another art book coming out soon. It's on pre-order. Yep. If yeah, I just had a, I actually had someone email uh text me saying hey i bought it and i never received it and i'm saying i want to let everyone know if you're someone that's bought it and you haven't received it the reason is we haven't sent it yet we had some printing delays and we were actually uh very close to getting everything finalized and the printing will be underway in the next couple of weeks yep will the pre-orders be signed yes they will yes and everything will be signed if you go to creatureartteacher.com slash books there's still time to pre-order which will get you a guaranteed signed copy several people are saying thank you for drawing olivia oh yeah um do you know how much the book is on pre-order off the top of your head uh, I think it's fifty dollars, and that is a thick hardback book. Yeah, I mean um, we can show volume one if you want. To get it. Yeah, it's a, it's a, a coffee nice, table book. It's over there. It's not just over there. Yeah, it's a nice heavy bound book with color, full color photos. There's all his traditional and digital artwork. This is volume one, which is out of print, and it's two hundred and sixty, two hundred fifty pages, sixty pages. I can't remember. Nine by twelve. It's a big, huge book. Put on YouTube. Uh, volume two is going to be the exact same dimensions as volume one. So there you go. It's insane that he has that many images to do a whole other book. Oh, we've got enough for volume three if if, if we want to. And not including all his sketchbooks. Is yep. that going to be a separate one? Yeah, we're going to do a sketchbook book for sure. And we haven't even gotten into instructional books yet. Yes, Playmaker, this is Chernabog. Yeah, and I thought I'd try a little bit of a different technique, just going in and working on the highlights. Here comes the fun part right here. Master with the Photoshop, there you go. Looking at Instagram question, can there. you draw a character you think is underappreciated? Oh, I don't know if, I don't know of any characters that are underappreciated, that's weird. This is number 39. So I don't know if we, did we say what the last one was going to be, Tigger or... Um, Dave Clayton says, have you not done a poo today? <laughs> a poo today? <laughs> uh, oh, Dave. Or Jack Skellington. I will let Aaron decide yep. between that. Your choices are, well, you can do whatever you want. You're Jack artist, But Jack or Tigger. Tigger. Those are... Because this is number 39, so... Tigger one on YouTube and Jack one on TikTok. There we go. That's my that's my minimalist highlights only Chernabog. It's kind of cool. Yeah, thought that would be kind of fun. A little color burn there. His uh, no, I just actually just airbrushed oh, it. Wow. Yeah. Look at you. You know what I did wrong. What? I did the horns wrong. Wait a sec. Doesn't his teeth? Oh no. I can't see. I can't really okay, see the key. It says, it says oh. live discontinued. Is there a four hour limit? Due to inactivity. You want me to just go again? Yeah. Oh, well, that's a bummer. No, it's okay. We're going to start again. I know. We had all the people on. I guess I didn't touch. I need to touch the screen or something. Yeah. Oh. That's weird. Well, it went out on TikTok, but I just put it back on. So 
We're back on TikTok, people. I think they do have a four hour limit. That may be why. There we go. Sorry, everybody on TikTok that got knocked off. It just uh, it was a four hours and it just canceled it for some reason. We had to restart. Oh, weird. It says there's no limit, but if we detect the host is inactive or you fail to complete our verification, we close the live room. So it must have popped something up on the screen and we didn't see it. Okay. Yeah, I didn't see it. All right. So there's that one. What was the next one? Uh, either Tigger or Jack. Your, cho your choice. Oh, yeah. I want to do Tigger. Sorry, guys. TikTok had a limit there. It thought we weren't doing anything. I love this one. But we're back, and we're already climbing back to uh, the viewers we had. So, Thanks all right, everybody. Sorry about that. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I think he's gonna do somebody. What did you think of Once Upon a Studio? I loved it. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. I was blown away by the amount of work that was put into that. And I got a little bit teary when I saw Bernie in the beginning. I've known Bernie for years and years. And um, it was great to see him. He passed away about a year ago. So to see him in there was just really, really nice. Katie Cat says, I hope you've had a snack. No, but I'm definitely going to have a meal when I'm done. Emmy said it made me emotional, too, the... Um... Once Upon a Studio. It was very cute how they added all the... I like all the 2D and 3D characters together interacting. It was super neat. Yeah. So is this going to be the final character for the, for the day? It is, right? Yeah. Yeah, Tigger. This should be your 40th. For TikTok, we uh, it ended. We had to restart it, but we've got over seven hundred people on, oh, and the likes are already flowing in four thousand oh. likes. We were up to I think over three hundred thousand likes on the last. Oh, uh, well, that's all right. No, but that's still that'll still show up for you. Yeah, we really appreciate. Yeah, they said no, Jack. You know what? Um, because Tigger won out, I think, on YouTube, and it was kind of a toss-up. I can do Jack. I'll do Jack after this. We'll do a bonus one. Okay. We'll do a bonus. Yay. We'll do a Jack, and then that. So Tigger and Jack. And, then, and that's it. And then that's it. And then that's it. And then you've only have 59 to do on Fred. You're right. <laughs> you have 59. Then it's off to bed. I think 100 Disney characters for the 100th anniversary week is, is awesome. I agree. There's nobody else doing it. Are these custom brushes that you've created in Photoshop? Yes, they yes, are. Yes, they are. This is Aaron's Pastel C brush, which is available on our website in Brush Set Pack 1. I'll post a link, or you can get it by signing up for our newsletter. You can get this particular brush for free. Um, Brigido says, you want a bonus? You get Jack. <laughs> and the, the live ended, um, unfortunately, there was... I think something popped up on the on the time limit for TikTok to make sure we were still active, and I didn't see it, so I apologize. But we are back. We have over 750 people on TikTok, and I, I'm pretty sure YouTube, you've still got, what, 400 people probably at least? Yeah. People and, are still going and strong. And I know we're on um, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook Twitch. Yep. Twitch. X. Twitch. Thank you for watching, everybody. And once again, go on over to CreatureArtTeacher.com and check out my... $1 character design course, 16 hours, 23 videos, everything I know about character design I've put into there. I want you guys to learn. You know, I remember going to a, a college one time and talking to one of the heads of one of the departments in that college and them saying, you know, well, I don't teach them everything. I, you know, they're going to be my competition when they get out. And I remember hearing that and just being so angry about that attitude. And I want you to know I will never do that to you guys. That's called gatekeeping. I am going to teach you everything I know. Yeah, I don't understand. Um, 
and it was a totally different business. I was in the food business, and I had a lot of chefs. They did not want to teach people the recipes because they're afraid they're going to go off, you know? And it's just like, I don't know. I feel like sharing, don't you want other people to know how to do this? Yeah. I mean, why teach otherwise? Yeah. And Kate says, I got my course last week. All right. What do you think of it? Have you started using it? We're still looking for feedback on it. I know a lot of people said they've gotten it. Um, Erica Bay said she loved it. Erica Bay finished that course like six years ago. <laughs> She's done every course that you have. It's so fun doing drawing over old designs like this uh, over character designs that I've never done because th some of them are designed in ways that I would never, ever do. They're so far outside, like Tigger is so far outside my natural style that you really learn. It's a great way to learn other styles He's or how to push your style, I should say. designed so his mouth doesn't close. Yeah, it's really, it's really well, it really matches the, that lisp that he has. and Are you planning on show cost, showcasing the drawings you made today on social media for seeing those later? Yes. Yes, we will. Plus, we've been recording most of this, so we can maybe make a few shorts out of it. Nadia says, my dad has Tigger tattooed on him because I love him so much. Still my favorite. Oh, that's cool. And um, Nathalie says, what kind of tablet is that? This is a Wacom Cintiq 32 Pro. Wacom Cintiq 32 Pro. So it's a 32 inch screen. It's huge, but uh, it's, you know, I'm here 10, 12 hours a day sometimes. And so I want the best product I can get. And for me, a big Wacom is the best I can get. Big Wacom Cintiq. Chris Tina on YouTube says, I just subscribed. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. I think a lot of people are discovering us today. So yeah, please subscribe. Uh, for people who don't know, Aaron was a director with Disney. He directed the movie Brother Bear, and he was also an animator and character designer with Disney. He animated The Beast and Beauty and the Beast. He animated young and designed young Nala in The Lion King. He worked on Aladdin, uh, where he did Raja the Tiger and a bunch of Jasmine and he did Yao and the Ancestor Ghosts in Mulan, and he worked yeah. on Rescuers Down Under, and he animated Pocahontas and Pocahontas. And now we have our YouTube channel and our TikTok, and we teach art education, and we also work on our own animated shorts. Yes, we do. We're creating one right now called Snow Bear. And if you want to join me twice a week, then become a member at CreatureArtTeacher.com, and you can tune in every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 a.m. Rackham says, um, I recently got an, X, an XP Pen 24 tablet for animation school, but I've been doing so much in Procreate. Yeah, that's fine. That's great. Keep going in Procreate. Uh, they're going to come out with a really great animation software in the next, uh, well, November 22nd is when it comes out. And um, it's it's going to be a game changer. It's really great software. Every, every artist has their own proportions for drawing a lion or a horse. Can I invent my own proportions? Oh, well, if you want, you're, if you're you want to it to be real, then, you know, there's certain proportions that you don't go outside of. But if you want your own style, of course you can. You just do whatever you want to do. It's your world, baby. Why did you not work on Brother Bear 2? Um, that's a So... I can answer that. Yeah, it's, go a, ahead. it's a, it's a, they, 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 um, it's a different division, right? Yeah, it's a whole different division. And they're actually making the sequel back then. They were making the sequel at the same time we were making the original because they knew that there's going to be a market for young children uh, at home um, on straight to DVD or straight to video, basically. And so they, uh, they would write this, they'd come up with a story idea based on what we were doing, and then they would come and pitch it to us. And it was more out of uh, courtesy than anything else because we really didn't have any say 
as to what they were making. But then as we were making our movie, they went off and made the sequel. And so it was a, it's a, it was a strange way of doing things back then. They don't do that anymore. But uh, yeah, it was interesting. Well, no, like Frozen 2, that was the same team that did Frozen 1 worked on the second one. But that was a right. theatrical release. So yeah, was, exactly. It was a theatrical release. Well, because Frozen made a billion dollars. So yeah. they decided, let's do that again. They wanted to go big. Yeah. yeah. The All right, there's take. Oh yeah, now I gotta I gotta do Jack now, right? Yeah, you know, the whole idea of theatrical sequels for Disney didn't happen in, until Toy Story two. So what happened was Toy Story two was originally supposed to be a direct to video, just like the other movies, and uh, but it was coming out really good. It was coming out really good, and frankly, I don't think Pixar ever really wanted it to be direct. <laughs> you know, so no. I think they screened it and they're like, "This is so good, we got to release it." And now now they've done. Toy Story 3, 4, and 5. Well, 2, 3, and 4. And I think they said they're going to do 5, which seems strange to me. But All right. It is 6.30, and we've got one character to go. Oh, my gosh. He's done 40 characters today, and he's going to do Jack Skellington. Mar Marcello from Brazil says, I'm downloading the course right now. Thank you very All much. All right, Marcello. Might be Marcello. Marcello. Marcello, Marshmallow. I always feel weird when I read people's names. No, we had we had several Marce Marcellos in uh, at Disney from Brazil. That was my two, two of them. Come on, baby. There's some good records. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go now. Flower says, I have a question regarding your brushes. What size canvas will they work best on? I know it's 300 DPI, but what dimensions? Thanks in advance. I always go, don't make any one dimension any more than 20 inches. You don't have to. And then that should be fine. Wait, don't you often work 18 by 24? Yeah, but you don't have to go that, that big. Yeah. Is what I'm saying. So Aaron's done 40 characters today, Disney characters, um, because it's the 100th year anniversary of the Walt Disney Company today, right? Yes. And for the final character, he's doing Jack Skellington by popular demand. And this stream will be uploaded, I believe, on YouTube. I think we went down on Instagram also, I just realized. Hmm. Well, hopefully they hopped over to another s social media platform. Well, we were on for four hours, yes. so. <laughs> well, four and a half hours now. Jack, let's go. Virus has been waiting for Jack for a long time. You were pushing Jack like two hours ago. Uh, someone, Aaron the Meerkat says, did you see Jack Skellington on Family Guy? No. I didn't know he was on Family Guy. As like a cameo or something. Aaron will, um, what will you have to eat after this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> something. Whatever the first thing we see is. Yeah. Um, Vanished. Did, did you, you did Goofy already. Um, yep. He did Pluto, Goofy, and Max, Goofy's son. He's done so many, so many characters today. No, he hasn't done Pongo. But he did Cruella. People are saying, this is Halloween. This is Halloween. <laughs> I always like the, what's this? What's, what's this? What's this? this? Every, everywhere. What's this? Hmm. This one, I feel like I can be looser with it. Oh, yeah. There's so many kind of characters. Have you ever seen, I'm just curious, Aaron, did, did, have you ever seen any of uh, 
Tim Burton's original character sketches for this stuff. Yes. They're really cool. They're awesome. So funny story, the uh um Barry Temple, the one we were talking about earlier that did uh Flounder and mm-hmm. all that that lives here in town, he he shared an office with with Tim Burton at, really? when they were at Disney. Yeah. By all accounts, he didn't, I mean, he, Tim Burton said in interviews, he didn't really feel he was a good animator or cut out for it. The, yeah, that's what I've heard too. But I mean, obviously he had to have had some talent or they wouldn't have put him that. He did quite a bit on Fox and the Hound, didn't he? Well, obviously his sensibilities didn't fit the traditional Disney yeah, yeah. approach. And um, I think they realized you know, in the nineties that he, he had something that was different, but marketable. Yeah. Do you have any courses on, um, drawing in in the Disney style? Not necessarily the Disney style, but I do take you through my character design course, which is a lot of the, the fundamentals that I talk about in there kind of lend themselves to a Disney style. You know, I, a lot of people say the Disney style, but to me, the Disney style is a misnomer because really when you look at Disney films, they are, each one is different. So there's, there's a set of fundamentals that we follow that kind of give the, the character designs a certain feel, I guess. But really when you look at, when you look at all the different films from, from Disney, each one is very different from the last. Um, do you have any courses on how to draw in Photoshop? I have a, a whole course on how to draw and paint in Photoshop. Do you have any content on YouTube about that too? About Lots that? of content. If you go to my YouTube channel, uh, it's uh, Aaron Blaze Art on YouTube. Check it out because I've got, geez, how many videos we have there now? Over almost 400 videos, I think. Oh, yeah. YouTube.com slash Aaron Blaze Art. Jack's going to be our last character for today. People were asking for Chicken Little. Yeah, he's been on for four. No, the sky is falling, baby. Four and four hours and 37 minutes. Aaron's been live. So this is a long one, but a goodie. And we learned something. I actually, someone said on Facebook, went on to that TikTok does cut you off at the four hour mark. Oh, okay. So that might be what happened. I had no idea. We've I never, didn't... I don't think we've gone, we've went three hours once on TikTok, but not four. Yeah. Instagram also cuts you off at four hours. I oh, did you it restart it or? No, I, oh, okay. I, I can't restart that way. It's weird. Oh, okay. So, this Jack to... is so good, says Lisa. Um, missing the bat face on the tie. Oh, yeah. He's got a little, the tie. Oh, I can't a... see it. He's, his tie is a little. Oh, bat. his tie is a bat, isn't yeah. it? Yep, exactly. Okay, I got to get that. Oh, there, I see it now. Okay, well, let me. Thank you. They don't let anything get by you. Oh, you're adding the pinstripes. Nice. Oh, I love the, yeah, the pinstripes are the the whole deal. Yeah, they are. Great, Jack. I'm sure they're like an arm and a leg, but how cool would it be to have one of the armature, the puppets from this movie? Have you ever met Carol Holliday? Yes, I worked with Carol Holiday. Is she an animator as well? She's a character designer. Brandon Mays said just ordered the um, dollar des- character design course. Can't wait to get started. Oh, that's great. Um, on TikTok, it's in the link tree. Uh, all the sales going on, including the dollar uh, character design course. So check that out. There's also links, I believe, to the, um, the Dream Short. They yes. did for, for Procreate Dream software coming out November 22nd. That's going to be an animation app for the iPad. It's only $20. Lawrence said, ordered the dollar course Friday. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, close enough on the face. Yes. There. It looks amazing. So there we are. There's our, our Jack Skellington. Our last guy. 
I don't feel like doing hands today. Are you going to go through them by any chance? Sure. One last time before we say good, good morrow. All right. Let me put him together. Yes, Danny Elfman. Love so, yeah, him. we'll be back here on YouTube on Friday and do more characters. Um, uh, YouTube, Facebook, we'll be back on all the platforms on Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. So it'll be an hour earlier than we were today. Is that correct, Aaron? Yes. So there's Jack Skellington. I'll just go down and we'll shrink cool. him up. How's that? Yeah, perfect. Here's Tigger. And people asking for Ariel. He did Ariel, and he's going to, you'll see her in just a minute as he goes through these. Here is Chernabog. 41 characters he did today. Oops. Chernabog. Chernabog. All right. And this is only nine by like 12 and shrinking them up is this is that do you think i should do that or do you think we should just leave them well, you're uh them you know what good. actually why don't you do this why don't you drag them over to undo another what you did on all of them yeah right, make them big again and convert them to smart objects so then if you ever want to scale them back up you just uh yeah just sit on your one yeah Right, click them and make them smart objects. That way, if you ever want to bring them back, you can. All right, so you guys get on all piece. of them. Does yeah. it? Do I have to turn them all on. Can't remember. Can we, yeah, can we just select them all? You might have to. I don't know if you can do multiple at a time or not. Bear with us, guys. You should select the layers. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Duh. Of course I can do that. Oh, it turned. Undo. Yep. Anyway, we're, we'll just go through and I'll just show you. Yeah, we'll save this doc. We should probably save this document. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do that now. <laughs> it's, is it not an auto save? It doesn't auto save if you haven't saved it the first time. People are like, oh my God, you haven't saved? <laughs> <clears throat> And he hits delete by accident. <laughs> Four and a half hours. Gone up in smoke. It's happened before. Yeah, I think he's he is going to go through them one by one to show everybody again. Okay, yes. So, sorry. Sorry for the drag. So, there is Jack Skellington. There is Tigger. There is Chernabog. My quick inversion of Chernabog. There is Flabbersham. Flab Olivia Flabbersham. <laughs> there is Cruella. And her. Sarabi. And Mermaid. Ariel. Ariel. Mermaid. We just called her Mermaid at the Mermaid. studio. Tinky. Aladdin. Jasmine. Poker Heine. Uh, Coda, Mushu, Bambi, Wally. Let me scroll down here really quick. There we go. Wally, Baloo, Dumbo, Bolt, Remy, Max. Um, a Maleficent, Maleficent dragon. Yao. Jafar. Jeez. When you, when you, <laughs> no, you bring the sets to start. Oh, someone's at the door. I guess someone's at the door. That would be Scar. And Raja. 
and Nemo, Tramp, Robin Hood, Lightning McQueen, Lady, Lady, Beast, Goofy. Boy, these early ones were terrible. Donald. <laughs> I had to, I really loosened up since then. Uh, Peter Pan. They went a lot faster earlier, though. Yeah, they did. <laughs> Snow White. And then... Uh, Stitch. Stitch, thank you. Pluto. Simba. Nala. Mufasa. Mufasa, Mufasa, Mufasa. And finally, our hero... Mr. Mickey Mouse, there he is. There he is, folks. Uh, the guy that started it all. 41. 41. That was 41. That was 41. Yep. So we got 41 characters done Ooh, today. Yep. 41 characters, 59 to go. Maybe we'll try to get 100 in. Yeah. Oh, my God. Thanks, you guys. We're signing off. Yeah, be sure to head on over to CreatureArtTeacher.com. Take advantage of all of our sales we've got going on. You can get our $1 character design course. Today's your last day to use promo code LUCKY13 on orders, uh, minimum orders of $5 or more for an extra 13% off your entire order. And we've also got some mugs over at CreatureArtTeacher.com. Six new mugs in three different sizes each. Check them out. CreatureArtTeacher.com. Start learning today. We will see you. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Take Bye. it easy. We'll see you soon. Thank you.